Perfect. I should make the 833 train without any problems. Oh crap, it's running early! Adulting is hard. Life was a whole lot easier back when I was in school. Oh yeah, I forgot it was Sunday. That's why the train schedule is running differently. I can't believe I forgot what day it was. Good morning. Hey. Are you seriously working over the weekend again? Always. We're slammed right now. You know, because of the new guy. Uh, yeah, that's right. I can't believe he just up and quit, especially right before the delivery date. So you're picking up the slack? Who else? But, with all the bugs and changes in the core design, we might not make deadline. You're a good guy, you know that? I hope the brass brings in some new people ASAP. Turnover didn't used to be this brutal, but now? Seems like someone quits every day. You're a real grown-up, man. I'm staring down 30. Better late than never. Well, it's time to start another death mo- Okay, finish line approaching. I'm done writing all the classes and commenting everything. Now I just gotta generate the documentation and UML from the source code and start drilling down on the bugs. The end is so close I can taste it. Not again, man. I can't keep changing stuff I've already gone over like this. <laughs> Sato, I mean Suzuki, you and I need to talk War World, bro. He just tried to call me Sato again. We've been working together for six months. He should know my name by now. We got a major problem on our hands. The client is saying the game's too difficult for beginners. If we don't fix it before the delivery date, we're totally screwed. Huh. I know the client is always right, but they told us our target audience won't play the game if we make it any easier. I guess you're right. There's another way. We should use my idea, the one that got axed early on. When you create your avatar, you get an item that reveals a map and three heavy-duty bombs. Cool. If you clear the area without using the shortcut, you get a rare achievement. Two birds, one stone. Beginners are taken care of, and skilled gamers have something to play for. Since we're under the gun, how about we just go with that? Good thinking, Suzuki. I'll leave the rest to you. Hold on a sec. Yes? I still have to fix all the bugs in that mobile MMORPG, so I'm running kinda short on time. While I'm busy with that, call the client and get them to sign off. If I put in that feature and the client says no, we won't make deadline. Yeah, right. I'm calling to confirm right now. Hmm. I guess I'll go get some lunch. There's always an event out here, even on Sunday. Is she lost? Hey, you're all right. What's wrong? Are you lost? My, my mama! I have no idea what she's saying. I guess I should probably take her to a police station. Right. Come on, let's go get help. Mana! Uh, There you are, my love. Oh, is she your daughter? She is. I'm very sorry if she bothered you, sir. Please, she was no trouble at all. I'm just glad you found her. That's a load off. For a second, I was worried she might think I was some kind of creep. Thank you for taking care of my sweet girl. Sure. I want chocolate ice cream and a cone with sprinkles on top. Her mom is pretty hot, though. All right. That should do it. I guess I should test it out. Wait, what was the name of the game again? Oh, yeah. FFL. Good work. Huh? 
Headed out? Haven't been home in three days. Gotta get back there faster before the wife kicks me out. Hey, at least you have someone at home who actually cares. That's true. Playing the field's fun, but you don't want to do it forever. Am I right? You're 29 years old, dude. You need to find yourself a lady, my friend. See ya. Huh. A lady. Would be nice, but when every day is a death march, that's a pretty unrealistic proposition. Man, I sure could use a bath. I'm almost finished. One last email, and then I'm home free. Suzuki, we just got a bug report from the storage testing team. What? No, that can't be right. I literally just spent the last couple of hours fixing the storage space bug. I'm not talking about the inventory in FFL, dude. I'm talking about a new one. There's an item duplication bug in World War. Check your messenger. I just sent you an attachment with the details. All right. Duplication bugs are hard to fix. I see. The jerk didn't want to get yelled at, so he sent me an email. He better take me out to lunch somewhere nice with tons of cute girls. Uh, done at last. I'm sure there are some bugs left, but it'll be fine. Digital distribution lets us patch it later down the line. I can hear the users complaining now, but I don't care. If I can just fire off this email, I can finally get some sleep. <sighs> I really needed this. I haven't shut my eyes in over 30 hours. Right now, sleep is my justice. What is this? Am I dreaming? Uh. Of course the phone doesn't work. Whoa, I'm young. Whoa, I look like I did back in high school. <sighs> well, having a dream about your younger self isn't that abnormal. Hmm. But then again... This is a little freaky. Don't get me wrong, when I'm on a death march, I have dreams about fixing bugs all the time. But I don't think I've ever had a dream where my younger self is actually inside the freaking game I'm working on. It's crazy. It's kind of like World World and FFL got slammed together. And of course it has bugs. Whoa, I just did that with my mind. Sato. That's the name I always use for my test characters when I'm working out bugs. The Valley of Dragons? Well, I guess that's what this massive crevice is. Uh, what's that? Uh-oh. Crap. Weapons? Looks like all I've got are three meteor rains and a map reveal. Wait. This is the idea I came up with to help out beginning players. The map! Red dots only mean one thing. Bad guys. <gasps> Elite lizard men? That doesn't sound fun. There are hundreds of them and they're all level 50. I'm only level one. I can't beat them in a hand-to-hand -hand fight. I really hate lizard men. <gasps> oh crap, please tell me they don't know I'm here. For real, just felt that. Uh, 
This sucks. I'm gonna have to fight back. No way! My weaponry hasn't implemented yet! Oh man! I'm about to die here! And all because of a damn bug! Here. I've been a busy little worker, Bee, like any good citizen of a thriving democracy should be. Work's been tough lately, I won't lie. But not so tough I want to disappear to another dimension. I was busy, but it made me feel important. That's the truth. Lizard was too close to be in the target range of the meteor strike. Stick a fork in me. This is exactly like a game. He wants me to fight him with this sword. Ow! That hurt like a lot. Looks like his life bar is almost gone. Gotta keep fighting! I've heard of people having vivid dreams, but this is too much. There has to be a way to get out of this freaking nightmare. Like an off button. What? I can't save my progress or log out? You're not very nice to your players, Dream! <sighs> this sucks. I need to figure out a way to heal at least until I wake up. Uh, am I already healed? Oh, wow. And it feels like the pain's all gone too. Wait a sec. My max vitality has increased. And that's not all. <laughs> I'm level 310? This rules. I must have leveled up due to the meteor rain. I guess that explains why I was able to take out that lizard freak one on one. Whoa, my ability points are maxed out too. Wait a second, where's the log? Keep scrolling, keep scrolling. I'll skip anything that doesn't make sense. This is a log of everything. What about skills? I've gotten more magic skill. I have that meteor rain I just used. But I wonder if that means disabled? Hmm. I guess I just have to turn it back on. Typical gaming platform. Even in a dream, these things are complicated. Whatever. I better test it out while I still have the chance. If I get into another sticky situation with those lizard men and it tells me I don't have enough MP, I'm gonna be pissed. Not to mention dead. This should be a safe enough distance. Uh-oh, not good. That magic is way too powerful. If I use it all the time, I might as well declare myself a supervillain. I think I'd better play it safe. Bye-bye. 
<sighs> I'm really thirsty. There's loot, too. Uh, Lizardmen corpses count as loot? Cool, I have a water pouch. Let's see if I can use it, though. Nice, it appeared. <laughs> oh, wow. This is the best water I've tasted in my entire life. Unlimited fresh water. No idea how that's possible, but it's pretty sweet. I wonder what else I have. <clears throat> I'm loaded up with cash. I don't feel like organizing this right now, but the next time I come across a town, I'm gonna have a field day. A holy sword, a divine sword, and a magic gun? Man, I feel like I died and went to middle school geek heaven. Ooh. Wow. Nice. It's weird. I don't have many skills. I wonder if you get more via some sort of action instead of by leveling up. I guess I'll add points to things I'll need in battle. If I come across an army of lizard men, I want to be prepared. Well, I should probably get some sleep before I head out. Besides, exploring is my favorite part. All right, I guess I'll head to this warrior's fort place first. <sighs> this place rocks. I've been slaving away in front of a computer for so long, I forgot what beauty looks like. I know this dream isn't gonna last forever, but it's a nice escape while it does. All right, here goes. <laughs> <laughs> So this is Warrior's Fort? Oh, a monarchy. Sail you city. That's the closest place to the fort. Huh? There are about a hundred soldiers. Highest level soldier here is only 31. Average level is 7. That's pretty low. What's that? A wyvern, eh? Let's check it out. Do I have a pain reduction skill? Or maybe it's because my endurance is really good? <laughs> Suck on this, Wyvern! Uh, uh. I'm super strong. Level 310 is no joke. Uh. Wait a sec. That Wyvern's heading towards the soldiers! This is my fault. I have to help them. <laughs> I need to change the language settings. Not in the name of failure! Soldiers, hold your ground! Show them our sail, you cursed! Here it comes! Hold strong to your positions and don't relent! Dig in your heels, Lancemen! Let your feet in the air and the Wyvern will blow you away! Bowman! Draw it in! Wait for the Lances to slow its speed and then we strike! Those arrows aren't sharp enough to penetrate the Wyvern's hide. Then again, it might not be the arrows. It could be the soldiers' levels are too low. Awesome! <laughs> Coming. Gina, stop him! Right! Follow 
Apparently, skills aren't the only things that are easy to come by here. Titles are, too. Hey, are you okay? Oh, yeah, by the way, I wouldn't look down if I were you. I warned you. Let's get out of here. Thank you for the catch. I don't remember much. Only the wyvern swooping down on me. I was working my way up that cliff when, out of nowhere, you just came flying down from the sky. Well, I'm glad you were there. I'm pretty sure you just saved my life. If I were a younger man, I'd be head over heels in love right about now. Oh, by the way, my name's Sato. Yes, well, it's so nice to meet you. That was dumb. I should have asked her for her name first. Forgive me. My name's Zena. I'm 17 and I'm a military mage on retainer of Count Seriu. I've served in the Territorial Army for two years. I'm not yet married. Uh, no boyfriend either. Uh, where I come from, that's called TMI. <laughs> Stop right there, scum! Move away from the girl! No, Lilio. Don't hurt him. He's all right. We're trying to save your life, Zena. Oh, you don't have anything to fear from me. I'm just a traveling merchant. The name's Sato. <laughs> a merchant with zero goods. Sounds fishy. She's right. What sort of a traveling merchant carries his wares in a satchel like this? This is sort of embarrassing, but when that big meteor shower hit, my pack horse got spooked and took off. <laughs> uh, I don't really want that skill. Do you mean the starfall? That might scare a horse. But if you'd seen it hit, you wouldn't be standing here right now. You would have run the other way. The man who saved my grandfather's life? He's buried in a grave near Warrior's Fort. I journeyed there to pay my respects. The Starfall happened when I first arrived. My horse ran this way. Show me your papers right now. You don't need those. Rules are rules. <laughs> Thing is, I left my papers inside the pocket of a coat on the back of my pack horse. I have nothing to show you, ma'am. <sighs> Very well. We'll issue new papers in Seriu City. Maxing out my trickery and persuasion skills really did the trick. I feel so dirty. And so, shortly after the Starfall's impact, we were dispatched from Seriu City to the area where you ended up finding us. Our orders were to assess any potential damage. Uh, a wyvern corpse? Wyvern hides are tough, so they make for sturdy armor. We can usually sell it for a decent profit. Yes, that's very true. Good armor, but bad food. Really bad. It's cheap, though. Sometimes they force us to eat wyvern to save coin. Does it really taste that bad? It tastes like dirt, kid. First time I put that garbage in my mouth, I spit it right back in the bowl. Of course, the slaves in West Town don't complain about wyvern meat or any other kind of food. They'll eat it all. I didn't realize they have slaves here. I sure hope they don't feed me wyvern when we get to town. Approximately 80% of Seriu City's residents are full citizens. The other 20% are slaves. And they're not all human. Huh. Cool, there's an elf. Oh, and some unknown magical being. Look, Sato! <gasps> the city's straight ahead! <gasps> I meant to ask you, do you have somewhere to stay in town, or are you in need of proper accommodations? Actually, I was thinking about getting a room somewhere. In that case, I'd recommend you try the Gate Inn. It's just past the main entrance on the right side, a touch pricey, but it's known far and wide for its extraordinary cuisine. I wish I could stay. I'm required to give a debriefing, so I'm afraid I'll have to be going. I'll stop by later to say thank you. 
Don't worry, you don't need to thank me at all. Sato, I'm a member of the Mariantail family. I have a duty to show my appreciation. Gee, mm. she doesn't take no for an answer, does she? I'll see you soon. I might be reading into it, but I totally think she's in love with me. <laughs> so, how can I help you, Iona? We owe this man our thanks for saving Xena's life. He's lost his papers, and if you don't mind, I would like you to reissue them. Of course. The Yamato Stone? Yes, thank you. Well, young man, place both of your hands on the Yamato Stone, please. Yamato Stone? Should be interesting. I'm required to ask this. Are you now, or have you ever been in the past, a fugitive from the law? Oh, no, sir. State your name, please. My name... I guess my real name isn't going to fly here. Sato. Uh, my user profile. <laughs> Looks like this is the information from before I leveled up. This just gets weirder and weirder. All right, kid. You can take your hands off now. Hmm. So you're a grown-up, eh? Thought you were a lot younger. In any case, you're an adult and you're a little one. Guess your parents never let you out of the house. <laughs> No, they really didn't. They consider 15 an adult here? Mm, done. Here, try not to lose it again. You owe me one silver coin. Uh, sure. And that's not all. City entrance tax is one copper, kiddo. But this young man saved Xena's life. We can forgive the tax just this once, don't you think? Why not? No, don't forget this. It's your city entry visa. It's valid for 10 days. If you'd like to stay in town longer, You'll have to request an extension here at this station or in Central at Town Hall. It'll cost you three copper no matter where you go. Uh, thanks. One more thing. If one of our guards catches you with an expired visa, you're gonna owe a fine of one silver. If you can't pay, you'll be made into a slave, so if I were you, I'd watch out, kid. Right. Thank you so much, sir. A life of bondage because you overstay your visa? Harsh. Do you see that yellow sign? That's the gate in, the place I was telling you about. Thanks a lot for your help. <laughs> Great to meet you, Yuna. I'll see you around. This townscape is so freaking cool. As a nerd who's devoted his entire life to creating new worlds inside a computer, I have a total dork boner right now. You there! You just came in from outside the front gate, right? If you need a room, then you should stay with us. We'll give you a stellar deal. Our rooms are clean and comfortable, and plus, our food's the best in town by far. Who's she? Thirteen. For a thirteen-year-old, she is very... mature. The yellow sign. This is the place. Guess what, Mom? I brought a customer! Darling, did you force him to come here? Oh, no, she didn't at all, ma'am. I could get used to this. Mom, I wasn't pushing And this I lady innkeeper. Obvious you needed a place I'm to gonna stay. be honest, I'm it's been a while for me, but she's so looking before. pretty hot herself. Uh, pardon me. Uh, Do you have any luggage, sir? Oh, uh, thing is, I lost all my belongings when my pack horse ran away on account of the starfall. Lucky for me, I still have my wallet, otherwise, I'd be in big trouble right now. That must have been really tough on you. For one copper a night, you get a nice room to yourself. Meals cost extra, but it's worth the price. You get a free item per meal. In that case, I'll stay ten nights. Perfect. That'll be two silvers on the dot. I see. That means five large coppers equal one silver. Ma'am, could I get something to eat right now? Sorry, we've already put the fire out in the kitchen. I do have some leftover quiche from this morning. Is that all right? Great. I'll take that then. Bon appetit. That'll be one copper, sir. The dish is our gift. Mom's quiche is always good, but it's much tastier when it's still fresh. Martha, dear, have you cleaned the room of those cowardly merchants? They left several hours ago. <sighs> Sorry, I haven't. See you later, Sato. <laughs> cowardly merchants? Yes. They were not the bravest of men. When the starfall hit, the merchants panicked and started screaming all sorts of insanities. The Demon Lord is fighting the dragons! So there's a Demon Lord? Well, there was long ago. It's been about 60 or 70 years now since a hero defeated him. 
It's possible he's revived in another country, but as of yet, I have not heard a word about it. Hope he doesn't come back. Demon Lords suck. I'm glad the hero took him out. If this works like a game, then the demon will revive as the main character progresses through the world. But, even if the Demon Lord does rear his head, he'll attack Labyrinth City before here. That's at the opposite end of the country. <laughs> this conversation is totally freaking me out. In this part of the world, wyverns are a much bigger threat. Do you have issues with dragons around here? You hear about them in legends, but dragons aren't a problem in these parts. They're asleep in the Valley of Dragons, so we rarely see them. The last one we saw was over two years ago, and the time before that, well, was long before I was born. A black dragon attacked back then. It ate all the sheep and goats, put the whole community at risk. Why is she talking about freaking livestock? I'm worried about human casualties. Innkeeper, a moment please. I'm coming. Hello, sir. Well, we're done talking. In that case, time to dig in. The main dish is quiche with a whole lot of potato. It's cold, but it's really delicious nonetheless. Oh, I thought this was bok choy, but it's actually cabbage. Reminds me of the sauerkraut I ate when I went on that super cheap trip to Germany. Tasty, right? I told you the food's really good. Uh, uh, hey, you're back. Are you finished with your chores? Yep. I meant to ask, is there a place close to here that sells supplies? Supplies, huh? Hmm. You can purchase some used items and old clothes from the booths over on West Street. New clothes always cost an arm and a leg, but if that's your fancy, go see a tailor at one of the shops on Central Street. I was thinking prefab, you know, clothes that have already been made. Hmm? Oh, ready tailored clothes. I don't think I've heard a person use the term prefab before. There are some shops on Tepta Street, but they're not cheap either. Tepta Street. Oh, I know. I can take you there. So how much? Two bits per item. Two bits? Too much. Looks like it's normal to haggle here. Uh -huh. Whoa, that must be a demi-human. Damn it, you <laughs> filthy animal! Stay away from East Town, do I make myself clear? <laughs> you slaves don't deserve to breathe my air. Do you need something, sir? <laughs> Are these slaves yours? Well, put them on a leash and keep them back in West Town where they belong. Hey, are you all right? Here, take it. Thank you. Bless you. There's a lot of people in the streets today, so you be careful. You were being so nice to those two demi-humans. Are demi-humans widely hated in these parts? Mm-hmm. A long time ago, when hunters and farmers would come to the city to make an honest living selling their crops, the demi-humans would murder them. Ah, oh, I guess that means they're thieves and bandits. Oh. <laughs> Sato, look! Hmm? There's something I want you to see. You're going to <laughs> love she this! She changes gears fast? If you want it, it's yours for four copper. That's two coppers too much, friend. These items are really expensive to make, friend. I need at least three. How about two copper and two bits? Two copper and four bits is the floor for me, pal. Two copper and three bits or I'm walking away. You got a deal! <laughs> Thanks so much for the barrette. Of course. And thank you for showing me around. If I wanted to win her over, this would be the perfect moment to shower her with compliments. <laughs> Oh. They call this a dragon mask. We wear them during the harvest festival. So what's it gonna be? The dragon mask will bring you good health and a safe home too. Hmm. Do you wear the wig with the dragon mask? 
If you're a dragon, you wear the mask. The black wig is for people who want to play the part of the brave hero. The gold wig's for a whole different thing. It's for people who fancy themselves the hero's damsel in distress. I couldn't make up my mind, so I decided to splurge. I got a mask and a wig. like that, I'm guessing she doesn't have many friends. Hmm? What? Nothing, I'm fine. <laughs> Martha! You're back! Come meet our guest. You need this is Sato. He'll be staying with us for a while. Yes, I know. I've already prepared him a nice room. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Sato. <laughs> for your trouble. Thank you very much. Good to know. <laughs> Tips are normal. Beauty. Oh, almost forgot. Are there baths here? Well, there's a public bath in the inner walls, but unfortunately, commoners like us are not allowed there. Oh. Mm -hmm. What do you usually do, Martha? There's a well right out back. Typically, I just wash myself there. Well, I guess that's that, then. Hmm. I'll have whatever you recommend for dinner, Martha. All right. Would you like something strong to drink to go with your tasty meal? Not strong, just something nice and smooth to help it go down. Our cider has some bite, but I could certainly water it down for you. If you don't mind paying a little more, we have wine and mead. Mead sounds perfect. Done. I'll bring it over to you right away. Wow, this looks awesome. Wild boar steak and vegetable soup. And a mug of our world-famous mead. Best to eat it while it's hot. I wasn't being polite. This looks amazing. I'll start with the vegetable soup. Mm, the ingredients are perfectly cooked. The veggies melt in your mouth. This is what I like to call a mouth explosion. The broth is tasty. I bet this stuff sells like crazy in the winter. We're off to a great start. Next up, the main course, wild boar steak. The last boar I ate left something to be desired. Not to mention it smelled like a shoe. It's great! Not too lean, but not too fatty either. It's a little gamey, but it's got this incredible rustic flavor to it. Way better than your average slab of beef. Mm, the bread's a little on the tough side, but it's good. You can tell this loaf was made with love. It's fun how crunchy it is. <sighs> It's perfection in a mug. The hint of honey cuts against the bitterness of the booze. It's strong, too. I better slow down. You cleaned your plate. You want some more? Yes, I think I do. <laughs> right away. Uh, round two was a mistake. But this inn is perfect. The food's good and the beds are clean. The staff's cute too. It's the type of service you can only find in a dream. I didn't see any dragons, but that army of lizard men couldn't have been more realistic. That battle between Xena and the Wyvern felt pretty damn real too. Like something out of a promo video for a fantasy RPG. Also, the level of detail in Seryu City is insane. The variation in the townspeople alone is mind-blowing. But, hold on. The things I've seen in this world, they don't really match up with the games and stories I know from my childhood. I used to be a huge nerd in middle school, but I never dreamed up something like this. I'm experiencing the taste of things I've never even imagined before. This place is way too vivid and weird to be just a dream. But if it isn't a dream, then what the hell is it? It feels like a game, but I can't log out or save my progress. What's the deal? Do I have to beat it to escape? Do I have to win to get out of here? Wait, in an MMO, the game never really comes to an end. All right, whatever information I need isn't in here. Let's go.
Whatever this place is, I might as well make the best of it. I may not find a way home, but as far as I'm concerned, anything beats sitting behind my stupid desk. No more death marches for yours truly. Since it seems like I'm stuck here, I'm gonna do what the younger me would do. Have fun! <laughs> Are you awake? Uh, morning, Martha. You need to hurry up and get dressed right now. Your girlfriend's waiting. Uh, my girlfriend? Good morning, Sato. Sleep well? Yeah, like a baby. That's a lovely outfit you have on. What brings you here this fine morning? Oh, well, I'm, uh, I'm off duty. I was thinking I'd like to take you on a quick tour of the city. If you're not busy, I'd like to take you around the city for a quick tour. She's working really hard to impress me. I'm impressed. <sighs> that sounds like a lot of fun. You've got your... It's hot! Hello, sir. Two Seryu patties, please. You got it, miss. Here you are. Thank you. Enjoy them. <sighs> Sato, I wanted to buy these as a way of thanking you for saving me. You're too kind. If it weren't for you, I'd still be wandering around. You brought me here to scare you and help me land on my feet. That seems like thanks enough. Mmm, -hmm. this is good stuff. It's like a croquette without the meat. But unless they sell antacids here, I'd better slow down. Tell the truth, do you think they taste good? It's one of the tastiest treats that I've ever eaten. I'm glad. So what do you want to try next? They're called fried dragon wings, but they're not dragon wings at all. They're bat wings coated in black miso sauce. They're without a doubt Seriu's most famous food. Well, in that case, I'll take two, please. Good choice. Here you are. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry about that! <sighs> this is my mom's. What should I do? I don't know. Maybe that clothing store I went to on Tepta Street could help you get the stain out. Looks like someone had a little uh -huh. spill. How about a special charm to ease your pain? No, we're fine. Unless, of course, you have a charm that can help make the stain magically disappear. Funny you should mention that, because as a matter of fact, I have just the spell for this sort of ordeal. She's weird, but she has good timing. We'll take you up on that. First, we need to get rid of that nasty stain. Soft wash! Uh, uh, whoops. <sighs> that was unexpected. And now for the finishing touch. <laughs> Dry! Wow, it worked! Huh? Sweet. I just acquired a new skill. I'm sort of an aspiring mage myself, so I've been wondering how you do your magic chants. Well, let's see. Wind magic basically starts with... There is a cadence for each spell. It takes practice, but you'll get there. Listen. Did you hear the tone I used? Wow, I gotta admit, I'm incredibly impressed. Must have taken you a long time to perfect your craft. I guess I started training in earnest about three years ago. I didn't know it at the time, but all of the amazing things I was learning laid the foundation for me to live my life as a military mage. When you first start out, they give you a children's picture book with the history of magic in it. It's a fun way to get a feel for the poetry and the musicality of the art form. It wasn't easy, though. Every hour of every day was filled with magic. Interesting. They start training them pretty young. Uh, I hope I didn't sound like a complainer. I'm grateful my parents raised me that way. Plus, being able to use magic spells is fun. More than anything else, though, I really want to learn how to fly. What about you, Sato? What was it about magic that first interested you? There aren't any baths at my inn. You have to bathe outside. But if I learn magic, then I won't have to bathe at all. Huh? <laughs> That's the strangest use of magic I've ever heard. You're peculiar, Sato. <laughs> I don't think it's that unusual. Oh, no, it really is. <laughs> <laughs> But I do love the idea of using magic to fly. We could go on a date in the clouds. <gasps> that sounds like fun! Young fellow, 
Would you like to try my new ointment? That depends on what it does. It helps with cuts, wounds, and dry cracked skin. I'll get some for the innkeeper at the gate inn. She's been really helpful. Nice. Well, then I'll take five shells, please. We've taken in most of the city. Are there any places in particular you might like to see? Well, I don't know. Let me think. Uh... Is this what you wanted to see, Sato? Yeah. The wind feels so good up here. <laughs> You're right. Honestly, I wanted to come because it's a military facility, and without someone like Xena, they'd never let me in. Thanks for making this happen. Are you sure it's okay for me to be up here with you? Yes. Wyvern attacks are the only real danger out here in the country. We're perfectly safe. Uh, hey, Xena, what is that thing? Oh, it's a windmill, but it can also be turned into a battery in the event of a wyvern attack. Shall we go there? All right. Great. Polly and Temple is on the way, so I'll show you that as well. This is a mural of the Demon Lord and the first hero in combat. Awesome. He must have been a brave knight. That weapon he's holding is known as the Holy Sword. Whenever the one true hero grasps its hilt, the blade glows blue. Or so the legend goes. It's pretty, isn't it? What if the person holding the sword isn't the hero? Then it won't glow? That's right. Oh, but they say if the sword accepts the person holding it, the blade will still glow. I'm certain that over the years, many people other than the hero have wielded that blade. It's not always oh. good that one is able to use the holy sword. Only heroes who nobly answer the call of the young goddess Pallian are truly worthy of fighting the demon lord. Hello, Priestess Orna. It's been a long time, Miss Xena Marian Tail. Orna is a high priestess who serves the great goddess Pallian. But she's also the daughter of the Count. As a matter of fact, my mother acted as her wet nurse. <laughs> it's good to see you. I thought you were only interested in magic, and now I discover romantic interests are in your future, too. <laughs> you don't understand, Priestess! Priestess! Not to Warrior's I condition recently. is critical! Not... Come quickly! Administer his last Dear, rites! I'm sorry, but I must go now. Of course. The hero. Come to think of it, I already have a lot of titles of my own. I'll take a quick look. God killer. Whoa, I didn't kill a god. Dragon killer, destroyer, natural enemy. Are you kidding me? You've defeated the dragon god Aconcagula. You've acquired the title god killer. Apparently the meteor shower can kill gods. Good to know. It's like I'm using hacks to make myself more powerful. Well, for now, I better not do anything that attracts too much attention. Ah! Hey, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. It seems you're always there to catch me when I fall. You sly dog. Sato, look! <laughs> the anti-dragon tower. There's a large magical cannon installed right inside. If a dragon or any flying beast ever attacks, then that'll keep the city safe. See that? The one in ruin? A dragon destroyed it during an attack a little over two years ago. Luckily, it was a small dragon, and the damage was minimal. But 40 years ago, a massive black dragon attacked. The outer wall was breached. Did the hero come? Did he ride in on a white horse and save the day? No. It's said that heroes are summoned using an ancient magical ceremony that the Saga Empire referred to as the Hero Summoning. That's not happened since the Demon Lord last appeared some 66 years ago. I see. Xena, when the Demon Lord attacks, does he summon monsters to help? I suppose it depends on the Demon Lord. Not all of them conjure demons, but we have faced down many who do. It's quite hard to fight demons, because only magic and magical weaponry can defeat them. Wow. Gotcha. Mm. Hear me! Uh. These demi-humans might not be full demons, but they're made in the likeness of the Demon Lord! Be righteous, and thrust holy judgment upon these beasts! <laughs> Who's that guy? Boido. He's head priest of Zyquan Temple. Do not forget the divine punishment we call the Starfall! This is proof that God's grace is waning! So purchase one of my divine rocks! 
Stone these devils and be right with God again! Hear, hear! Sell me one! Line up, people! I cannot allow this! I must intercede! Uh, yes! Punish them for their sins! Stop this cruel madness at once! Madness, you say? Will you side with these devils, my child? Come on. Don't be a coward. Do something. I guess that fatso priest isn't their master. Who do they belong to, then? That guy? Okay, search the guilds for sewer rats. Looks like these sewer rat people are stirring up the crowd. All right, it's go time. Are you a holy man? Will you violate imperial law? There is no godly law that prohibits condemning a devil with holy stones. You have strayed from the path of righteousness. Those who protect demons are demons themselves. Wait, protection! She's a demon too! Rat number one? Oh, you tired, buddy. Take a nap. This skill might come in handy. I'd better max it out. Stop this! You can't claim to speak for God! These are your views alone! Huh. A priest from the Galrion Temple is not a priest at all! This is your last chance! If you keep inciting the citizens of this great city to violence, then the Zyquan Temple will be held responsible for your misdeeds! <laughs> Thanks to those slaves, we're going to make money hand over fist today. I smell another rat. Who are you? Hey, Bonze! Who the hell is this kid? <laughs> this man! He's the one you want! It's us! Amazing! Oh, who the hell are you, kid? I'm Sato! This man lent his slaves to the Zykuan priest! They gathered up a bunch of rocks and called him holy, and they tried to fleece you out of all your money! Say that again? Urs had an even more nefarious goal in mind. He wanted to use the influence of the Zykuan Temple to brainwash you people to lead a rebellion against the Count. There's only one demon worshipper here, and that's Urs! He was the one controlling the demons the entire time! Demons? <laughs> that's right. When I first came to the city, I saw one on the map. No! My friends! Leave the square immediately! Sato, go! Grab the girls and run! Get them out of here! I'll go get help. Be careful, Xena. You guys come with me. It's not safe here. Master said stay. We stay. We must do as Master says. Mr. Urz gave us explicit instructions to remain here unless otherwise commanded. I'm sorry, but we cannot do what you've asked, sir. We thank you for your kindness, but please leave us. That's much better! Never have shed the vile human skin! I'm feeling like myself again! No master. Oh, cause Urz died. In that case... What a portrait of humanity this was! Fear, worry, prejudice, hubris! It's the stuff nightmares are made of and I love every minute of it! This place is right for my master's misdeeds! In fact, it's so perfectly right, I'm going to make a nest for my master right here and now! Hang on, Sato! Xena! Look out! Oh no! Welcome to my master's lair. It's dark and terrible and filled with a brain like monsters. Tread carefully. I eat little boys for breakfast. I really hate that demon's voice. I take pleasure in your pain. It pleases me to feel your dread. Use the slaves as decoys and watch them die. Or you can die yourself. I tell you there's a way out, but it won't matter because you'll never make it that far. One last thing. Monsters don't always kill you first. No, they eat you alive. So, it looks like the mission is to escape this labyrinth. This is crazy. We were in a city adventure, and now we're in the middle of a friggin' dungeon crawl. If this was a tabletop RPG, I'd genuinely be worried the Game Master had lost his mind. <laughs> My name's Sato. I'm a merchant. I am Cat. I am Dog. And I'm Lizard. Are those seriously your names? 
Yes, this is what our master called us. And you should call us this, too. Uh, I'm sorry, but that's not gonna happen. Oh, in that case, will you provide us with new names that better suit you? Mm, when it comes to naming things in a game, I'm pretty much the worst. Pucci! Tama! Lisa! Thank you very much for changing our names. We are forever in your debt, sir. Why are they so excited? Oh, these are for you. Use these cloths and water from the water pouch to get cleaned up. There's also ointment you can apply to your wounds that will help them heal. There's plenty to go around, so please don't be shy. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't worry. Mm -hmm. I'm not a creeper. I'm gonna face the other way, I swear. You're very kind, but please don't waste expensive supplies on mere slaves. Oh, you don't need to speak so gently to us either. Okay. Consider it an order, then. You have to obey, right? Uh, yes. Thank you, young master. We will obey. Awkward. I've never had clean clothes before. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> They're nice. <laughs> I like them. They kind of remind me of my family. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to worry, guys. Just eat up. <laughs> Don't rush, take your time. <laughs> oh. I can't believe I'm actually eating baked sweets! <laughs> anyway... Getting out of this cave is not going to be easy. I know! Maps. Don't leave home without them. Uh, looks like we've got company. It's Xena and the rest of the soldiers. There's no player chat function. That would come in handy. Also, it's kind of weird that Eyeball Demon isn't coming up on the search. If we get hit from both directions while we're on the move, we'll be in big trouble. Don't leave us! We'll do whatever you want! Take us with you. You can use us as pawns if you like. Just please, don't abandon us. I'm sorry to worry you. I just wanted to take a look at the passageway. I won't leave you girls behind. <sighs> Our new master is very kind. Apparently, Lisa's the only one who has combat skills. If I take a spear out of this bag, it'll freak them out. Take this, Lisa. I'm a slave, sir. It's an order. Right. Ladies, I don't want you to start fighting unless I order you to engage. Now, do I make myself clear? Calvary. Yes, young master. Tama, <laughs> if you see anything up ahead, let me know, all right? Pochi, <laughs> if you smell or hear anything suspicious, speak up. Lisa, you keep an eye on the rear. Make sure to stay alert, everyone. Yes, right. Master! <sighs> An enemy. I smell blood, Master. It's right in front of us. That's some nose you've got. You three just wait right here. When the main character in a video game takes on the big bad guy, it always looks so easy. I don't know about this. Maybe it's better to keep my head down till help comes. Young Master, <sighs> please forgive me, but I think it's best to either slip past the monster while it's eating that person, or to stage a rear assault while it's properly distracted. <sighs> Her level is in the single digits, and even she can figure out what to do in this situation. <sighs> <sighs> Nice. Excellent shot, Master! You're the best. Wonderful. <sighs> what a relief. My, that is a strange-looking staff. Uh, this is a secret magical weapon. Don't tell anyone about it, okay? Sure. I'll have to remind them when we get out of this labyrinth. Bye-bye, Master!
nasty bug. So gross. Ah, in that case... Hmm. There we go. Lisa! Uh, yeah, I wouldn't eat that if I were you. No, of course not. The thing is, I'm trying to get to the monster's core. Oh, here it is. Wait, what the heck is a core? Every monster has one. They're extremely valuable commodities. You can trade them with merchants at the market for supplies and various other items. That doesn't exactly answer my question. Here. Right. Put it in the bag. Understood. And this spear is for you. <gasps> and now you can have mine. Uh. The chains. Problem solved. <laughs> Sorry about that. So... The next time that we come across one of those monsters and kill it, we should let Pochi and Tama get the core. When that time comes, will you teach them how? Yes, of course. Well, let's go! Yeah! Indeed, let's! Right. I guess they don't get skills just by being with me. There are no changes on their experience bars. Huh. Tama. Go find us some stones about the size of a core. Okay. There's a bug up ahead. Hmm? I got him. Tama, let it rip. Yeah. Pochi, Tama, get back a bit. Lisa, when you see an opening, stab him in the gut. Right. Lisa, Tama, now you go retrieve the core. And Pochi, you come with me. There are more bugs up ahead. Jeez, that's a lot of rocks. Pochi, take the rocks and throw them at the bug's side. But stay on the move, and then try to hide somewhere. Right, okie dokie. That wasn't part of the plan. Is Pochi all right? What's wrong? Is she hurt? Oh no, she's okay. She just got scared, that's all. We should get going. I'm so sorry, uh, Master. I'm not mad at her. I'm just worried she's gonna get hurt if she freaks out like that. Pochi, mm -hmm. when things get dicey, it's okay to run away sometimes. But you still gotta keep a cool head. Understand? Right. Okie doke. I don't like Tamer. If it were up to me, I'd go with Patient <laughs> Educator. Awesome! Their levels are starting to go up. I guess you get skills automatically when your level increases. Master, we're finished. We've collected all of the cores. Cool! Huh. She's not calling me Young Master anymore. Is it weird if I say I miss it? Uh, she doesn't have much stamina left. Hey, I think we should take a break. What kind of food do we have? Mm. Oh wow, this is really good! It's the best! Meat is the greatest food ever! When you bite into the succulent tender jerky, the flavor explodes in your mouth like cannon and fire! When you're done eating, you should get some sleep. Would you like me to set up camp, Master? Mm. No, just get some rest.
Hey, awesome job! <laughs> right! Yay! Thank you! So, it's the first time I've let them together. take the reins, but they handled it like old pros. Master, I want to start a fire. Is that all right? Why a fire? Well, I was thinking I would like to prepare some frog meat. Forgive me. There's no need to forgive you, but frog meat? It's quite delicious, but if not cooked properly, we could mm. fall deathly ill. Okay, why not? Here, Master. Oh, wow. Thanks. I hope I don't puke. Not bad. It tastes like chicken. Probably because of the seasoning salt she used. Uh, why aren't they chowing down? <clears throat> Please, don't wait for me. If I were you, I'd go ahead and dig in while the frog's still hot. <gasps> If we keep this pace up, we'll find our way out of this crazy labyrinth in no time at all. But... Once we do, what happens to them? Hmm. Oh. Here goes nothing. Fireball attack! Uh-oh. I guess that fire shot spell isn't gonna get the job done against a level 10 slime. If I may... The most effective way to defeat a purple slime monster is to penetrate its core. Ha! It works every single time. Slime, gross. It turned into a puddle of nasty. Uh, that wall is weird. A hidden door? Or a trap? Get back now! Level 40 beast? Master, no! Oh dear! Please be careful! All right! Nice job! Way to go, Master! Good thing trap setting was one of my skills. Sticky, sticky! My feet are stuck in the goo. There are people in those things. Hmm? We have to save them. Bless you, my son. I am the head Viscount of the ancient Belton family. I am known as Jin Belton. You have my thanks. For your gallantry, I'll see you receive a handsome reward. Thank you so much for rescuing me, my friends. The name is Nidoran. I am a slave trader. I'm Sato, and I've just recently become a professional merchant. Take your hands off me! Hmm? Give me the dagger, you beast! Hold on. I remember him. <laughs> Sorry, I can't! This blade is my master's! You can't have it! Such insolence! I'll beat it right out of ya! Pochi, come here, please. Right. Okie dokie! Hey! Cut me loose, will ya? Actually, I'm a little busy right now. Find your own way, pal. What is this, some kind of a joke? Come on, you can't just leave me here! That's enough. Uh -huh. You keep yelling like that, you'll attract unwanted attention. So shut your trap or I'll burn you to cinders and let the monsters eat your bones. Uh -huh. I hear fighting! There's a battle just down this corridor, Master! We'll go ahead and see what's happening. Follow slightly behind us and make sure nothing tries to attack from the rear. <laughs> Tama, Pochi, I need a torch. Now! Okay. Distract the slime monsters and try to lure them away from the troops. Lisa, aim for the cores and take them out. Once they're dead, I want you to run back here as fast as you can, okay? Got it. Okay, Doki. I'm a hundred times stronger than those stupid little demi-freaks. As long as I have this sword, I'll be just fine.
job, ladies. Zina. <gasps> Are you okay? It really is you! Huh? Oh, Sato, I was so worried about you! <laughs> Xena, <laughs> this isn't the time to celebrate. I think it's best if we take care of the monsters first. Priestess Orna! Judging by what I've just witnessed, I take it you've determined where the sly monster's weakness lies? Yes. All you have to do is penetrate their cores and they disintegrate. How'd you figure that out, Sato? You're so smart. No, Liza is the smart one, not me. Who? Is Liza your girlfriend? Ask if he's been unfaithful later, dear. Unfaithful? Oh, I get it. She doesn't understand who Liza is. Well, I'm just happy you're safe, Sato. Yeah, these three are the only reason I'm safe at all. Oh, you mean the demi-humans from before. My name's Pochi, and this is... Tama. Huh. I didn't know they were so shy. <laughs> My name is Lisa. You saved us from being stoned to death. We are in your debt. <laughs> You're nice! Like, really, really nice! <laughs> You're nice, too. Uh, master that wall! It's weird, too! Huh? Another hidden door. And it looks like it's right above the spot where we defeated that undead beast. Good work, Tama. <laughs> uh, look! It's a treasure box! Back off, it's mine! I found it! Ah! I'm back! <laughs> I didn't think so many of you would come! The more the merrier. I'd say this labyrinth just got a lot less cool. Everyone, take your positions! Attack from all sides! But be careful, this demon can use magic! Viscount, provide defensive cover for the men in front! You made a mistake, demon. You should have stayed hidden inside of your chest. You can't fend off my fire magic, so I'll use Blast Pole! <laughs> Human spells are so slow! I'm bored out of my mind! What is this sensation? <sighs> Like this! Would you look at all of that meat? There's enough to feed an army. Pochi, Tama, let's gather as much food for Master as we possibly can. What the hell is going on? Do the soldiers look like roast chicken to them? I need to snap them out of this fast. <laughs> you humans are such fools! Our words with delight as you rip each other to shreds! <laughs> Demon! If you think we're going to let you defeat us without putting up a fight, then the only fool here is you! I'm gonna come out of his last pull! <laughs> what? No way! Mid-level magic doesn't work? Don't you know demons love heat? Better try another spell! Guess he's using some kind of protection magic. Alright, Sato. Time to get in the fight! Oh, yeah. Sato! Come on, beast. Sato, no! That's it! Holy sword is crazy sharp. I took damage when I pulled it out. I guess I should leave it unequipped. Meantime. Stand down, knights! I'll take care of this demon freak! Flame spear attack! Sacred javelin! Who the hell are you? Your freak is strong! Where did Master go? Is he gone? No, I can still smell him. 
I need to make sure they don't notice. Human, who are you? No one damages a demon by throwing rocks! I am confused and enraged! Finish him off! Damn it! My master! How I'd love to see thee once again! Kneel before my master, the godlike demon lord! He is part of the demon king's innermost circle! This is bad news! A high-level demon lord! In setting up this labyrinth and summoning me hither, you have done well. Here is your reward. I get to become one with my master once again! I am beyond overjoyed! Run away, my little ants! Those who are strong, stand firm and prepare to fight! I will test your mettle! Take care of them. I did not realize a hero would be present. Did you have a divine revelation? No matter, you will fall. Try as you might, you will never defeat me. Just how much are you going to strengthen yourself? But... They say if the sword accepts the person holding it, the blade will still blow. What ails you, hero? Do you not know how to use your holy sword? Such a pity. You're quite durable. Consider me mildly impressed. That was close. If the Holy Sword won't work, then I'll have to use magic. But low-end magic like Fire Shot isn't going to work. What about Meteor Shower? No, I can't use that. Flame Spear Attack! Oh, sacred Javelin Attack! You're interrupting my fun with your infantile spells. Now you've angered me, you human scum! Take this! It seems I was overconfident. It is quite difficult to fight demons because only magic and magical weaponry can defeat them. All right. Did you truly think I would notice you abandoned your holy sword? You cannot fool me. Fire shot! I didn't think someone so skilled at martial arts could utilize magic, too. I don't understand. How is this happening? My word! That has to be the high-level magic Crimson Javelin! Well, actually, no. It's the starting magic, Fire Shot. That's right. The magic gauge on Meteor Shower said it had ten times the original power. Speaking of which, that reminds me. In order to defeat a demon lord, a hero must wield a holy sword. Demon Lords aren't anything like that eyeball, weirdo. They're godlike entities. Even though I have a holy sword, I don't have the title of hero yet. That's why I can't get a good hit in. <laughs> but is that right? Hold on. What titles do I already have? <laughs> if wielding a holy sword as a hero makes it possible to smite a godlike entity... And it stands to reason. Wielding a divine sword as a god killer should achieve the exact same result. What is that blade in your hand? Damn you, human. I am vanquished.
Pardon me, friends. Are you Sato? Yes, I am. Uh, are these your slaves? Yes. Well, no, not officially. Fine. Well, there's someone looking for you. Come on. Uh, all right. Ladies, are you coming? <gasps> okay. Hey. I was wrong to mistreat you girls. I hope you'll forgive me. <laughs> Sato! Mm -hmm. You have no idea how worried I was! Well, the important thing is we're both safe and sound now. I'm racking up new titles. But, to be honest, out of all of them, this is the one I care about the most. Mr. Sato, I hereby proclaim these slaves are officially yours. No, we're masters! I thought you might like to know there are several slaves who didn't sell today. I'd be happy if you took a look. No thanks. I think I'm all stocked up on that front. Uh, my name is Lulu, sir. Lulu. She seems nice. Uh. Hello, my name is Arisa. Sato-sama, I'm yours. <laughs> <gasps> What? Oh, my name is Arisa. Sato-sama. <laughs> she used the honorific. Is this girl Japanese? I have an idea. I bought both of them. I'm such a sucker. There's a kumo in your hair. <laughs> I knew she was from Japan. Japanese girls always hate spiders. Like I said, my name is Arisa. It's been well over a decade since I was born into the mysterious kingdom of Kuvork. I hope you'll treat me with love and respect, Master. I'm Lulu. I'm 14. I'm from the kingdom of Kuvork. As you can see, I'm homely, weak, and shy too. But I am sturdy as a pack horse, so please don't cast me aside. It's nice to meet you both. I'm Sato. Huh? My name is Pochi. Tama. Greetings, my name is Lisa. A spawn of the Orange Scale race, my village was toppled by the Weasel Men shortly after I was sold as a slave. But I am very <sighs> proud to have been sold to the Shiga Kingdom. Hey. Too much. Oh, I am terribly sorry. An Audient race and a slave? I'll admit I've never met anyone quite like you before. Yeah, they're unique for sure. <sighs> they're kind souls. Be patient with them. <laughs> Aww! How could I not be patient with two little cuties like them? Are we little cuties? Mm hmm You are really cute, Tama. How are you, Pochi? <laughs> nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you, girls. Yes, the pleasure is ours. What she said. We're glad to have you with us. You're all so lovely. She doesn't hate demi-humans. What a relief. Well, why don't we head back to the inn? Okay, doggies. <laughs> We already are holding hands, silly! <sighs> Aris is from Japan for sure, but I shouldn't talk about it in front of the others. Something sure does smell good. Let's grab some food before we go home. What do you guys want? We will eat anything you offer us with a smile on our face and gratitude in our hearts. But if I must choose, then I select poultry of the chicken variety. Aren't birds and lizards relatives? I'm a bit confused, Master. As slaves, we aren't supposed to be particular about what we eat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious, what type of food did you normally get? We never had a say in the matter, really. They usually gave us stale bread. Day-old soup without any meat was considered a feast! We were lucky if we received one meal a day. When they didn't feed us, we would forage for fruits, berries, and twigs. One time, I had no choice but to eat a leaf for breakfast. Acorn nuts! And weeds! Wait, 
Are you serious? <laughs> well, at least her tail is excited. All right, dig in. Bless this food. Bless our food, too. Wow, it's super hot! Uh, you might want to blow on it first. Right, all keys! It's like my mouth's on fire! Chewy, chewy! It's quite tasty. And it's really crunchy, too! Mm, it's a little on the salty side, but it's not bad. It seems like there are a lot of manual laborers around here. Maybe this is the kind of stuff they like? Food made with entrails is generally supposed to have a variety of textures and flavors, but there are some people who have trouble with the unique aroma. I don't know if they were just meticulous in preparing it or if there's something unique about the vegetables it was simmered with, but this stuff smells great. Would you like to try some of this, kid? Wow, this is just like tekkanyaki. And this must be heart with liver. This is hotter than a weasel man on the trail of an orange scale. Easy, girls. If it's too hot, don't force yourselves. Whatever you don't want, I'll eat myself. Uh, here you go. <laughs> Thanks a lot. You're so sweet. <laughs> Let's dig in and enjoy. Where are you going, Master? I won't be gone too long. I just want to do a little shopping in the neighborhood is all. Oh, in that case, let me help. No, eat up, please. That's an order, ladies. Huh, that's right. Lisa said she was hungry for chicken. I think I'll buy her a midnight snack. Uh. Hungry? Make sure that you share it with your friends, okay? Well, what do you think? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you look awesome. You have quite the eye for fashion, Master. We're cute! We look super duper great! Hey, Sato. How are you, Martha? Miss Mariantale told me all about your adventures. It was quite a yarn. Your room is still as it was, so you're welcome to rest up, but it appears you might need a little more space. Yes. These are my friends. Without their help, I couldn't have escaped the labyrinth. The labyrinth? Actually, I was hoping I could get a few extra rooms for them. Is there space? I'm sorry, but we're all booked up, dear. <clears throat> Demi-human haters. Martha, will you take those two to my room, please? The rest of us will just have to camp outside tonight. Oh, Master, you're such a generous soul. Don't look so mad. You're likely to frighten us to the core with those mean old scowls. Ma'am, if it's all right by you, I was hoping we might use your shed or a stable for the night. These girls save countless human lives while braving the darkness and terror of the labyrinth. Though they will receive no medals for their display of courage, perhaps you can spare them a little mercy. A person's good deeds should always be paid back in kind. <laughs> oh, yes. That's an excellent point. The shed is chock full to the brim, but the stable has more than enough room. I do hope I was helpful, Master. Yeah, you were. Thank you for that. All right. I think this blanket will keep you from getting needled by the hay in your sleep. Fluffy fluff! Why did I get needlework? Oh well, maybe it'll come in handy one day. If any troublemakers try to bother you, don't kill them unless you have no choice. If you need help, just shout. I'll come running here first thing. Right. Understood. Aye aye! Okie dokies! There's no need for that. <laughs> Just take care of yourself, okay? Yes, right. Uh, <laughs> oh no, are you hurt? No, I'm perfectly fine. Thank you so much for asking, Master. I think Lulu's a bit uncomfortable around men. We're ready for you, Master. Hmm? 
Oh no. Are they serious? Are they nudists? Is that a thing here? Ladies, the covers are a bit on the thin side. You'll catch a cold like that. Put something on, please. Oh, but our services? Uh, if she means what I think she means, and I'm pretty sure she does. Yikes. I'm not interested in that. Excuse me! We've got a big day tomorrow of shopping and stocking up on supplies. So get some rest. Uh. It's okay. Those days are all in the past now. Stole a little kiss. Hold on. She wasn't in my bed when I fell asleep. My mind is telling me no, but my body, my body's telling me yes. Wait, since when am I a pedophile? It's like I'm being compelled to do this against my will. That's it. <laughs> Arisa, no more using magic, understood? That's an order. <gasps> And one more thing! Any magic or skills you've already activated are to be released at once! You hear me? That is an order! <sighs> no fair. Hmm? No fair? It's the second time you've used psychic magic tonight. First, you used it on the other guests at the inn. Probably some trick to neutralize their disdain for Pochi and the others. And these are the three spells you are using to manipulate me? Why were you trying to control me by using a psychic spell? I don't know what you're asking me, Master. Look, from now on, no more avoiding the subject either. Tell me what you were doing, Arisa. Might as well see how effective this is. I'm going to ask you one more time. What were you doing? I only wanted to service you, Master. You have my word. I still don't understand. Could you try and explain it more clearly? Oh, come on! What could be clearer than that? I fell for you the moment I first laid eyes on you! Uh, uh, fell for me? Your fine, soft black hair, your easygoing attitude, your cute baby face, your skinny build, your smooth skin with no hair where there shouldn't be. All I've ever wanted is to marry someone like you. But alas, the perfect man, the man I've always dreamed I'd find is my master and he commands me not to service him. How can I accept that? That's why I used a spell. And if that makes you angry with me, oh well. So when I didn't fall for you right away, you decided to brainwash me? You make it sound so wrong. It is the duty of a slave girl to seduce her master and do everything she can to make him feel good. That is not right. I understand. At least I think. I was waiting for you to come call on me, but you fell asleep. That made me unhappy. So I decided the next best thing was to crawl in bed and watch you sleep. I'm so naughty. Oops! You were feeling amorous, and you decided to act on it. More or less. Oh, good grief. She is a hot mess. I've never seen these skills before. <laughs> My name's Tachibana Arisa, and I'm from Japan, just like you. I knew it. Well, I was from Japan. I was reincarnated in the Kuvork Kingdom. Strangely, I still have my memories from my former life on Earth. Were you reincarnated too? Wait, what? I get it. With soft, smooth black hair like that, I'm guessing you were summoned here as a hero. Were not you, Master? <sighs> Look at that, you've just clammed up. You're only the second Japanese person I've met here, did you know that? Wait, does that mean Lulu's the other one? Oh no, not Lulu. Although apparently her grandfather was Japanese. Fate is cruel, is it not? 
If she'd been born in Japan, she could have become a teen idol. Wait, an idol? Unfortunately, the people here don't find her attractive in the least. Now, getting back to the original question, mm -hmm. were you reincarnated in this world, or are you a transfer? Truth is, I don't know. Well, maybe I can help. Tell me, what makes a transfer different? People who are reincarnated in this world are those who died in our old world. People who are transported here are compelled to appear in this world as a result of summoning magic. They're either summoned heroes or reincarnations. So when you're reincarnated, do you start as a baby? Yes, in this world, that's precisely how it works. Do people who are transported keep their original appearance? Do they look exactly like they did before they were transferred? As far as I know, when they appear, they're even wearing the same clothes that they wore on Earth. And guess what? Their features stay the same! I don't think either applies to me, then. Are you saying you didn't meet God, Sato? God? No, I didn't. Oh, well, tell me this. Were you inside a summoner's circle when you appeared? No, I was alone in the wasteland. I see. Did you start out at a high level? Like with infinite MP and a whole bunch of crazy skills? I started at level one, actually. My MP was zero. No skills, either. Wait, I had those disposable meteor shower icons. That's no fun. Good luck beating a dumb game like that. Mm. Uh, so, one question. Sure, I don't mind telling you. My bra size is... This isn't an order. So if you don't want to answer, that's totally okay. Hmm? Can you tell me how you became a slave? Sato, are you awake? <laughs> Look, your girlfriend is here. Oh, no, we're not. Hey, what's up? Sorry for the mess. Things have been a little nuts here. I should put a shirt on. Ooh, your boyfriend's got a nice bo- <gasps> uh, 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 Master, you're scaring me a little. Please don't hurt me. <sighs> Well, good luck with that! <laughs> Aren't you going after her? I definitely don't recommend putting it off. Zena and I are just friends, but still, this looks bad. Please, don't be upset. I'm not upset. I'm disappointed. You were sleeping with that little girl. She crawled into my bed when she was half asleep. Oh, she did? But Lilio told me that men only buy slaves to satisfy their insatiable carnal appetites. Damn, Lilio. Look, Zena, I know some guys are like that, but I swear I'm not. I just bought them because I needed help with the day-to-day. -day. Oh, you're telling the truth? I don't know what it is, but you look different today. Your clothes are frillier. There's a new kind of elegance to your style. I guess what I mean is you look really pretty. When your back's against the wall, shower them with compliments. Thank you. That's very sweet. Hey, Zena, there's a store around here that sells the most beautiful shawls. You want to go check it out? I think they'd look great on you. Oh, Sato, that would be lovely. <laughs> there you are. Welcome home. I'm very glad to see all is well again. <laughs> Does she not realize she's the one who caused the freaking problem? Yeah, I'm back. Go get the others, will ya? Right! Can you tell me how you became a slave? That story is not a simple one. When I got here, I tried to help the country I ruled using memories from my former life. At first, things went smoothly enough. But then it all took a sudden turn for the worse. Conflict started to break out. In the end, a neighboring country took over. Was someone behind it? Yes. I didn't find out who till much later, though. At the time, I was depressed. But I chalked it up to the differences between this world and Earth. 
After our country was conquered, they publicly executed the king, the crown prince, their consorts, and a slew of loyal subjects in order to quell dissent. And then, they ordered the mages to force us into slavery. We were all on our own without a soul in the world to protect us. <laughs> Then one day, out of nowhere, a demon appeared. The demon attacked, toppling both the castle and the surrounding villages as well. Everything was engulfed in flames, so Lulu and I ran to the mountains for cover. We had no food. We were starving and close to death. And that's when that slave trader Nidoran picked us up. Lulu wasn't feeling well, so I let her stay in the room. I hope that's all right. Thank you for letting me know. Not a problem. Here, use this money to buy clothes and daily necessities for the entire crew. I'll let you be in charge of negotiations. <laughs> Consider it done, Master! Lisa, watch Arisa's back. Be on the lookout for pickpockets, okay? Yes. I can keep her safe too! So can I! Fine. You two watch her flanks and make sure she isn't ambushed. Can I pretty please use local security magic and concealment skills if I run into trouble? I forgot that I shut that down. Permission granted. <laughs> Thank you, Master. Well, we'll be back! Ooh, an adventure! Strange. Oh they seem to like working we'll for you. The yeah, they do. Those girls don't deserve to live their lives as slaves. But for now... Sato, do you have any plans for this afternoon? Yeah, actually, I was gonna ask the Odd Jobs people to help me find housing that accepts demi-humans. The stables are fine, but if I can find a warm bed for them to sleep in, I'd feel much better. Well, would it be alright if I came with you? That would be awesome! <sighs> are you sure that's how you want to spend your day off? Bumming around town with me? Excuse me! Coming! So oh, sorry for the delay. Greetings, friends. My name is Naughty. My job here is to make sure you find one. Actually, I'm looking for a property to rent for my friends and me. I can help with that, too. Right this way, please, sir. If you're sharing the space with demi-humans, it'll need to be in the heart of West Town, or at least somewhere between there in the workers' residences. Good news and bad news. Bad news is there's a lot of crime there, but the good news is it's much cheaper. So, what's your price range? Well, with my budget... Two silvers is the most I'd prefer to spend. But if that's not enough, I'd be willing to go as high as one gold coin. At that price point, your options are fairly limited. That said, there are a couple of places I can think of off the top of my head that should meet your requirements. Shall we? I should probably tell you, a member of the Crime Guild assassinated the owner of this house. Oh, well I guess that explains why the price is so low. You're showing that skin. Uh, yep, that is a fully functioning brothel right across the street. Thanks, but no thanks. The Crime Guild has a hideout right underneath this place, complete with a secret tunnel that leads into the city. This one gives me a bad feeling in my stomach. I think it's a no. I understand. Don't lose hope. I'll head back to the office and see if there are any properties that are more suitable to your needs. That'd be great, thanks. I'll swing by later this evening. Hopefully you have a little luck. So, what's next? Is there anything you'd like to do today, Xena? Uh, no, what about you? Well, if you're looking for something fun to do, a new flea market just opened up in the plaza up ahead. Generally speaking, they have really modest prices on most of their goods. My manager and I were actually planning to go too. Interesting. Hmm... The outdoor theater is absolutely to die for. It's the perfect spot for a date. A date? What's wrong? Oh, nothing. I'll take one. <sighs> Lucky Lou, it's the master! Uh, oh, oh, yay! <laughs> How was the shopping, girls? Good. <laughs> the packages were heavy, so we dropped them off at the inn. But... Look at my dress! Master, you like? <laughs> you look lovely. <laughs> oh, your hair's different. Yes, it is. I was getting peculiar looks on account of my purple hair. I decided to make a change. Makes sense. Master!
sister. I'm glad you're here. If it's all right, I have a small favor to ask of you. Don't cling to me. If you need something, just ask. Cards, huh? Art on the front, the language of the Saga Empire on the back. Hey, this might come in handy for teaching Pochi and Tama how to read. I like your cards. That's kind of you to say, sir. They're for learning Shigan. Wow! The performance is about to begin, Master. If we don't hurry, we might miss the show. You lead the way, then. Did you buy tickets yet? Tickets? Mm -hmm. Worry not, Master. We'll take care of that part. Okay, here's some money. I'm sorry about this, Sina. <sighs> but I promised Arisa I would let the girls come to the play. Oh, that's okay. Check it out. I think these earrings would complement your hair color nicely. Wow, they're so cute. <laughs> Do they suit me? Yeah, for sure. Thanks. Master! Master! Uh, I want uh, these so badly! Well, in that case, let's get something for Lulu and everybody else. Hooray! I wish Sina would ask me for Sina. stuff. It sure would make it easier to shop for her. Hi. Hi. Wait until you see this! <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, can I get these earrings, please? Fair maiden, rather than under the pale moonlight, I would wish to see your beautiful smiling face beneath the light of the shining sun. Oh, beloved Zen, use a magic spell to free me from this castle, which to my weary eyes seems an iron cell. Tragic romances are super freaking lame. Hungry! Oh. I want some meat. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry about that. It's fine. I guess they fell asleep. What about Lisa? Whoa, she's into it. No, wait. Her tail's wagging, which means she smells those skewers cooking right outside the theater. <sighs> this play, The Tragedy of Marquis Muno, is based on a true story. The protagonist of the piece, Zen, is a commoner wizard who has a deep and ultimately tragic romance with Princess Liltiana. Not only does her fiancé, Marquis Muno, brutally murder nearly every member of Zen's extended family, <gasps> Zen himself is murdered by one of the princess's attendants. In the end, Princess Lutiana takes her own life, which is what the audience will want to do by the end of the story. <gasps> it's just the audience. <sighs> oh man, I thought that was the end. Wishful thinking, I guess. The body of the protagonist, which was thrown from a cliff, reanimates, becoming undead. He goes on a violent rampage, killing everyone at the Marquis' estate. Just as he's about to succeed, just as he's about to kill the Marquis, a holy knight kills him first. Talk about anticlimactic. Oh, sweet holy knight! Not only that, but the Marquis' whole personality changes. And then he dies because of some weird, bizarro curse from his Marquisate. The result is a finale remarkable only for its opacity. Uh, Gabo flatbread. Isn't Gabo a vegetable in that game, Air Rim? Uh, uh, you dropped this! Uh, oh. Thank you for your kindness, sir. Oh, you're the young man from the show! Sorry again for what happened back there. It was nothing. So what did you think about the ending of the play? Dreadful, wasn't it? Uh, well... In the script, the wizard is killed by the Holy Knight after he gets his revenge on the Marquis. But the nobles complain, so they change the ending. Huh? In the real story, the princess is a commoner, and yet the Marquis desires her still. Despite the fact that she's married to another man, the lecherous swine consumed with lustful yearning kidnaps her. The nobles should have left well enough alone if you ask me, which of course nobody did. So a bunch of idiots meddled with the writer's work and the result was a complete disaster. Shocking. <laughs> There you are, Master! We've been looking for you! Sorry about that. I had to use the bathroom. I loved it so much! Wasn't that just the most delightful story you've ever heard? It was beautiful. I wept when the princess killed herself after the wizard died. So sad. <laughs> huh? Instead of dying, she should have secretly taken that sword, marched up to the Marquis, and stabbed him right in his big old stupid face. The Marquis was the root of the problem, trying to separate two people who love each other. <laughs> 
Perhaps, but it was the princess who broke the promise of the arranged marriage upon which both families had agreed. So in one sense, the whole ordeal is her fault. Oh, come on! <sighs> Tell me, who would you rather marry, my master? Or some rich blowhard who was forced down your throat? Uh, well, I am not betrothed to anyone, if you must know. That's because you joined the military, so your parents couldn't force you to marry against your will. Uh, in these parts, after uh, women tie the knot, they're in charge of running the household. But joining the military means five years of service. Is Look, there something going on here I don't get? Anything for the person you love, then you have zero business putting on a ring. Forced marriage or not. Yes, that's true. But the head of the family is still in charge. Keep playing the good girl and watch what happens. You'll have your man stolen right out from under you. <sighs> That was rude. Ow! Sorry about that, Cena. <laughs> well, tell her you're sorry. I'm sorry. Truth is, I totally understand what she means. <laughs> so, who wants meat skewers? What? Are you for real? Sounds like a plan to me. Say the word and it's done, Master. How many skewers? A lot, I guess. Just make sure there's enough for everyone. I'll take care of the haggling. Fun! We're coming <laughs> in a bad fight. A ferocious battle with a herd of fang ants. What? The dirty rat bastards got us good. Next time I see him, I'll eat those bugs for lunch. Fang ants, huh? Well, that sounds scary. The fang ants weren't the only dubious characters we came across. We also spotted a large unit of were-rat cavalry who crossed the border. Rue's theory, the were-rat riders were the ones who attracted the ants in the first place. This much I know, their commander was wearing a big red helmet. If I ever find that villain, he'll pay at the gallows! <gasps> Blow, healing breeze! Thank you so much, Zena. I'm glad you're safe. Sato? Sorry, but I have to go help heal the other wounded. Of course. <laughs> An ant! A dead ant! Uh, what are you doing with that, you two? Mm. We killed it! It was attacking from above! Be careful. There might be more monsters lurking nearby. Good job. A flying ant. I wonder if this is the same type the border guards fought. Red markers. Incoming! Pochi, Tama. Uh. Get your weapons. Hey, donkeys! Arisa, go get Lulu. On it. Lisa, fetch the curtain we used for the bed and get back here fast. Understood, sir. Is something wrong? Don't worry, everything's gonna be just... <sighs> Monster attack! Flying ants are only level three. They're not strong enough to threaten armed guards. But they've got sharp fangs and hard exoskeletons. Not to mention they can fly. There are more than enough of them to do some substantial damage. I could burn them all into oblivion using fire shot, but that'll draw way too much attention. <sighs> Those suckers are fast. What the hell? Looks like my protective barrier above the city is doing its part to stave them off. It's not doing its job well enough, I'm afraid. Do you know how much MP I'd have to burn through to create a magic barrier as impenetrable as a physical wall? It's an unbelievable amount! Arisa, take Lulu and go hide in the back of that bar. You got it. Pochi, Tama, protect the inn. Okie dokies. Master, what will you do? We need to focus our defense on the main entry point. It's time to build a barricade, Lisa. Hurry up and get inside! Don't lose heart, men. It's one monster. We've got nothing to fear. <laughs> fallen hammer! Fire! You ready? Yes, master. I always am. He <laughs> won't let you through, ants! Sorry, road's closed! <laughs> That was a close one! Thank you so much, Tama! Forget about it! 
She sounded just like a movie mobster. Did Arisa teach her that? <laughs> she must have used psychic magic. Looks like a few of the ants made it inside the building where Naughty works. It's settling outside. Lisa, I'll let you take it from here. All right. Naughty, are you okay? Yes, I think so. The stairs are covered in ant poison. Guess I could smash a rock and use it for footing. It's IV control. Manager? You saved me, Sato. Thank you. And one for you, too. Thank you. You're so welcome. I am very grateful, sir. Who's this? He came here looking for a place to rent earlier, and then he saved me from the ants. Thank you. The fantasy world's most popular race by far. An elf. Is something the matter? Oh, no. It's just I don't think I've ever met someone with green hair. <laughs> well, his hair is green because he is an elvish forest spirit. Wait a second. I thought elves had long ears. <sighs> How rude. Oh no, that's a different race called the Long Ears. And don't worry, it happens a lot. And in fact, it always has, since the first hero called the Long Ears Elves. It's hard to believe, but people have been making that mistake for well over a millennium now. Truth is, elves hate being mistaken for a Long Ear. Isn't that right, Manager Sir? I honestly didn't know. Manager, please forgive me for my ignorance. You're forgiven. You see? <laughs> oh my. We can discuss the housing situation another time. Right. Thank you again for saving me. Crisis averted. Uh, oh, there you are! Uh, 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 are you all right? Yes. So sorry. We're all lucky to have survived that ordeal. Well, I'd better join my fellow guardsmen in town. They'll need me if any bugs slip through our ranks. What a shame. It's your day off, and here you are working again. I'm really disappointed that our day together ended the way it did. But even so, it was a lot of fun spending some time with you. I should go. I'm sure there are more coming. I need to be there to help fend them off when they do. Be careful! Bye! <laughs> Does this slave belong to you, kid? Oh. I am back, Master. The law says that all persons are required to sell their cores to the city government, sir. <laughs> <laughs> One moment. Mm. We just need to draw up a receipt first. Uh. Give it a look, sir. This will show the number of cores and the amount paid. Oh, yeah. It'll show your name and identification as well. Now look here, kid. I hope you're not insinuating I was going to steal them. Not at all. But you can never be too careful. <clears throat> you're a good man. But it doesn't matter if you're a holy saint. If you want to purchase my cores, then I'm going to need a receipt, mister. Good enough for you. Your numbers are wrong, friend. <laughs> and there's no seal. Let's fix that. Oh, I just forgot is all. These days, everybody's out to make a buck. <gasps> what a lovely meal! You know what that smell is, girls? Joy! Time to eat meat! Just a little longer, ladies. These two girls are something else, Sato. Huh? They're tiny as little teacups, yet they still protected my inn from harm. Yeah. <laughs> I can never repay you for your bravery, but I'll tell you what I'll do. Let me get my husband to whip up his best meal and make you a feast you'll never forget. Huh? Bless, Bless his food! food. <laughs> I guess Lulu's not feeling any better. Maybe there's a pharmacy in town. Oh, young master! Aren't you the kid from the labyrinth the other day? Yeah. We're not gonna let our savior walk the streets at night all alone. Come on, let us buy you a drink. Uh, actually, I was heading somewhere. Hey, don't worry, buddy. It's just one drink. Bye-bye. Come see us anytime you want. That escalated quickly. I thought they were gonna buy me a beer, not take me to a brothel. A feather of a shadow owl? Maybe Pochi and Tama would like this. 
Monsters. <gasps> Are you all right? Who are you? A red helmet. Who are you? Tell me the truth. Are you one of his men? Whose men? Huh? What's this? I won't make it much longer, I'm afraid. Please, take care of the princess. Hang in there! Naughty status says she's asleep. The managers, too. I have no choice. The manager? Are you going to join me in bed? No. I feel bad for how into that naughty just sounded. <laughs> Good evening. <clears throat> Sorry to intrude. It's Sato. Is something wrong? I brought someone who knows the manager. Huh? He's hurt. I was hoping you would be able to help heal him with a magic spell. Yeah, I'm not a man of light. I recognize that red helmet. I might be mistaken, but from what I've heard, he could be Red Mask, the infamous were rat knight. Have we met? No. He's not the one I'm referring To get him some help or he's not going to make it stay with him i'll be back as quickly as i possibly can it's too dangerous to go out at night alone let me go with you Last night, when I went to get medicine for Lulu, I saved the life of a were-rat knight. Huh, was it a girl knight? Actually, no. If you really want to know, it was an old man. Oh dear! It's boy love? You were doing God knows what in the forest with a filthy animal! Probably rolling in the mud with a big hunk of man-beast flesh! Oh, that sounds fun! Can you stop spouting nonsense? Get dressed. That's an order. Huh? Oh, how are you? Good. I feel better than yesterday, that's for sure. I bought you some meds. You'll be feeling better in no time. Oh, you're very kind, Master. After everyone finishes breakfast, I should probably head to the general store. Morning, Naughty. How are they doing? Well, at the moment, they're still sleeping. Mia doesn't appear to be injured, but she needs her rest. The poor thing was on the verge of exhaustion. According to the manager, Mia is exhibiting classic symptoms of prolonged MP deprivation. Mm. The manager tried multiple forms of magic on her. He tried mana transfer, a practical magic, and he tried stamina charge, a forest magic, but nothing worked. Judging from her titles, I'd say she's probably about 11 years old. She's not cursed or sick. And it seems like her MP is recovering slowly but surely. There's only one way to speed up the process, Sato. A mana potion. But those tonics aren't cheap. We could take her to a place rich with mana, like a ley line intersection or a good mana source. A uh, mana source? Yes, but around these parts, our options are a bit scarce. There's only the Count's Castle and the Valley of the Dragons. Uh. I just heard some movement upstairs. I think your guests are awake. 
Mia, are you feeling okay? Yes. My name is Naughty and I work here. Another elf, Yusura Toya, owns this place, though. You yet? Man, there. Oh, that's Sato. He saved your life, Mia. You and your friend with the red helmet. Sato? Is it alright if he comes in? Yes. Hi there. I'm Sato, a merchant. It's nice to meet you. A spirit user? No. I don't think I've ever used a spirit before. Can't see them? Are those something people can see? Yes, but spirits are only visible to people who have the gift of spirit sight. That's awesome. I guess spirit sight is rare, even for an elf. Are you hungry, Mia? Yes. I'll go whip up something in the kitchen. Maybe some hot wheat porridge. Sato, would you mind looking after her while I'm gone? Not at all. So, about these spirits, what are they like? Fluffy. Uh, fluffy. Yes, sparkly. Uh, sparkly? She's not exactly a talker. I need to figure out a way to get her to open up a little bit. Wait, I know. So, Mia, how do you say good morning in Elvish? Teperusa. It was like pulling teeth, but I did manage to pry some info out of her. Apparently, spirits flow along the ley line subsisting on mana. Sorry for sticking around so long. I should probably get going. Uh. Stay. Uh. <laughs> All right! Victory is mine! Arisa wins every time. Oh, gee, Tama, if the two of you have time to sulk, then you most certainly have time to get better. Arisa's really smart. Hey, wait. The card's from yesterday. M look, you yeah. guys, it's Master! Having fun, girls? We learned some words! Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, cool! So cool! <laughs> <laughs> Quiz time! What's this card say? That one says meat! Nope. Go. And this one? Also meat! Sorry, rabbit. Mm. Yes, well, technically they're not wrong, Master. All animals are meat in a certain sense of the word. I suppose you're right about that. But the answer is not meat. To get it right, you have to name the actual animal. I understand. This meat is a goat, right? Yeah! And this meat is a bouncy bunny rabbit. Then my card does not mean poultry, but rather the very chicken itself? Huh? How do you write meat, Master? Like this. Uni, I've been looking everywhere for you. I'm sorry about that, Martha. You still behave like a little kid, do you know that? Come, we need to get to work. We have to clean up the stables and replace the hay before it's time for lunch. But, Martha, I already did all that. Huh? Pochi and Tama helped me finish my chores this morning. Oh. That's right! We were some cleaning fools! I picked up the horse poo! Wow, girls. I'm impressed. Yeah, we know. <laughs> a princess under the protection of a were-rat? Oh, Master! I want to meet her! I've never heard of a were-rat princess before. Yeah, me neither. How fun! Well, after we finish eating lunch, let's all go say hello then. Sounds like fun. I'm in! Alrighty! Okie dokie, Smokey! <laughs> I'm so excited to meet her! Oh, I wish we could go right now! How about it, Lulu? You feeling up to it? We'd love for you to come. Okay. Mm I'll go first! Hello, my name is Arisa. My name is Pochi. I'm Tama. Uh, Mia. <gasps> Wow, she's a pretty princess! Ah, I love her hair so much! Master, I don't understand. You said she was a rat girl! No, I didn't. I said she was a princess who was being guarded by a were-rat knight. Mia! Yeah. It's nice to meet you! Look at your hair! <laughs> oh, so it really blush. is lovely! Can I touch it? I'm gonna head downstairs. <laughs> Look after Mia for me, okay? Okay! Okie doke, Master! We really like Mia! Uh. Stay. 
Jeez, I wonder what's got her so attached. Um. <laughs> what a relief. All I had for breakfast today was some wheat porridge. Thanks a lot. Remind me, Sato, you're a merchant, aren't you? Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess. I haven't exactly been selling my wares. Why don't you have a cart, then? Well, I had a horse carrying my stuff. But sadly, when that starfall hit, it got spooked and ran away. I'm sorry to hear that. You know, if you can afford it, you should probably purchase one. I would buy a drawn cart. A drawn cart? The manager is friendly with an older merchant who is planning to retire from business soon. If you have any interest, he's going to be selling two horses and a cart as well. I really appreciate the offer, Naughty, but I don't know how to drive one of those. Uh, I, um... Lulu, there's no need to be shy, okay? Yes, Master. I just wanted to tell you that I have some experience driving a one-horse cart. Awesome! Maybe you can teach me then. Huh? Naughty, tell the manager's contact I'm very interested. That was a snap decision. Don't you want to know about the price, Sato? Oh yeah, the price. Uh... Not bad. I think I'll buy one after all. Here, take this. Let's just say this is as much as I'm willing to pay. Whatever's left over, you can keep as a thank you tip. Oh my. That was probably a little too generous on my part. I'm a terrible merchant. Nothing, just a whistle to let you know the water is boiling. He seems pretty mad. How come he doesn't just say, hey, I'm about to boil? It's not a he, it's an it. The water gets so hot in there, it turns to vapor. Huh? What are you, some kind of science teacher, nerd? They're just kids. You can't possibly expect them to understand that water gets 1,000 times bigger when it boils. Don't you mean 1,600 times bigger, Arisa? Look, girls. Water turns into a white smoke called steam, but only when it gets really hot. The hotter it gets, the stronger the steam. That's what causes the lid to move like that. Look! Just like you create force when you blow out air, the water creates force when it turns to steam and rises up. She's so awesome! You're a genius, Arisa! Mm -hmm. This is for the grilled chicken you gave us. You were kind, thank you. It was very yummy, too. What's this? What Present you... for you, fresh fruit. What are you guys doing? You guys get away from our master right now! Calm down. They were just giving me some food as a thank you gift for a kindness I paid them. Master, it's really yummy. Is this a cuckoo berry? It's my favorite treat. Give back. It is for him. I have to take it. They went to all this trouble. 
But something tells me they need the fruit way more than I do. I know. I'll gladly accept this gift, but I do have one small request. See this jerky? We have so much we can't eat it all. Would you take some, please? Me! Me! <laughs> so kind. You sure? Yes. You'd be helping me out. You are now officially the owner of this cart, Sato. Thank you, Naughty. We can definitely carry a lot more stuff this way. Say, why don't we use our brand new cart to take Sweet Mia back home? Hold on. Home? Where is home to Mia anyway? The Elf Village. It's just southeast of the Shiga Kingdom. I see. Well, we should talk it over with the manager when he gets back. Before we do anything else, though, I need to learn how to drive this cart. I'm counting on you, Lulu. <laughs> pretty weather today. Oh, yes. It's pretty indeed. You know there's no need to be nervous, right? I know that you're shy, but it's cool. You can relax around me like Pochi and Tama do. Oh, no. I am a slave, Master. It's important that I keep my place. I tried. But she's about as forthcoming as the Elf Princess. I think I know a topic that'll make her come out of her shell. <laughs> Arisa's great! She's the best sister of all time! People Love always her. talk she's eventually. So they just need the right subject. Than I am. You really love your sister a lot, don't you? Yes. I bet if you didn't know, you'd think I was the younger sibling. Yeah. Can't believe she's just 11. She's been a prodigy ever since we were both little girls. She'd come up with I wonder if Arisa really told ideas. Lulu she has no memories from her past country, life. For no one else imagined before. No one had to teach her that stuff either. She just knew things. How about we move on to the cart lesson, Lulu? Uh, sorry. When I talk about my sister, I blab. Hard for her. I saw a big bird in the trees and got distracted. Sorry. Master, you came back to us! We missed you so much! We're very glad you didn't die! <laughs> Hello. Mia, you're up? You sure you should be out of bed? Yes, use potions. The manager brought Mia some magic potions and they helped her a lot. They were, but they got the job done right. I'm glad you're feeling better. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Your hair looks cool. It suits you. Ooh, since she's on the road to recovery, let's eat something delicious for dinner to celebrate. Great idea. What sounds good, Mia? Honey buns. Uh, honey buns? Ever since Pochi and Tama told her how delectable honey buns are, the poor thing can't stop talking about them. Honey buns are so good! I'd eat them every single day of my life! Seems to me the right thing to do is to get these dears some honey buns! Don't you mean you want some for yourself? Well, Lisa, Lulu, let's do this thing! Right, we're on it. <laughs> Bye! Bye! See you later! <laughs> Be safe! What's the matter? Uh, that's a weird bird. It's the one I saw before. <laughs> Guess who's back? Sato, I was hoping you would you, drop by. Us. The manager and Mize are having a little talk. Mize? 
Sato. Sato, my good sir, are you the human who saved my life? Mise, the were rat knight. Now, I can finally get the answers I've been waiting for. Mia was kidnapped from her quiet elf village by a band of wizards. She was imprisoned in a place called the Cradle. Luckily, she was able to escape. On the run, she bumped into Mise. They made for Seryu City, hoping to meet up with the manager. The wizards who kidnapped Mia were furious, so they sent the flying ants to attack the city. We don't know why Mia was kidnapped exactly, but the manager seems to have an idea. <laughs> However, since he doesn't appear inclined to share, I'll leave well enough alone. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I need to talk to him about escorting Mia back home. <laughs> Nutty! Oh, manager! No bad guys around. I see. They're scared of thunder. <laughs> Why is the lightning man so scary? A flash, then a boom! Then a terrifying darkness! It splits trees in two! Lightning is dangerous. I know this. Aze told me. Even big dragons get knocked out of the sky by a lightning strike. They shake the ground when they land. Aze? Are you scared of lightning too? Duh! Who isn't? <laughs> uh, uh, Tama, what's wrong? He's here. Psychic magic? His power, it's overwhelming. Aris is fighting back. There, the resistance skill. Zen. Where have I heard that name before? <sighs> the hero from that play! I have come to retrieve you. <laughs> Mia. <gasps> Mr. Sorcerer Man, glad to meet you. My name's Sato. I'm a merchant. I have no need for a simple merchant. I'll admit I'm amazed you can hold your ground unshaken while withstanding my power. It's impressive, even for a hero's descendant. Wait, a hero's descendant? My intention was to let you live, but defy me, and I will show no mercy. I'm not really the violent type, sir, but me is my friend. If you think I'll let you steal her away, you're a bigger fool than you look. I think it's time for you to leave. You're the fool. If you want to protect Mia, you'll do so by force. I am not interested in making peace, only in achieving my purpose here. Well, have it your way then. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I can control shadows. Impressive. Are you a merchant or a martial artist? Either way, for someone at your level, it's quite impressive. I'm impressed too. I never met a sorcerer who can move shadows. So we're even. In spite of your doom, you run your mouth still. What a courageous spirit. Get your damn hands off my master, you creep! How dare you insult me, slave? I am no wraith, no low-level undead minion. This ought to do the trick. No, 
No, it's simply not possible. Nothing in this world should be able to interact with the power of my Shadow Whip, except a magic item. We can beat this guy. No, just run. You really think I'd leave you behind and run away? I'm not trying to protect you because we're friends. I'm doing it because my master wants to keep you safe. What my master wants, my master gets. Always. Yes, but... There are no buts about it. We're saving you, Mia, no matter what you say. Is she about to use magic? Hold on. Sorcerer, you already know who we are. It's only fair for you to tell us, too. Although, it's pretty obvious already. The highest rank of the undead. An undead king. Hmm. You say you're a merchant, yet you fight like a martial artist, and now you wield that like a veteran gunman. Oh, I've got plenty of tricks up my sleeve. Yes, indeed you do, Sato. Shall we add hero to your many identities? Master, quickly! Jump out of the way! <laughs> <laughs> Certainly a close one. To think she'd have a unique skill. And that hair color. It seems you're reincarnated as well. I tried, Master. It's not working at all. Strength beyond one's capacity brings only ruin. If you would keep her from becoming a plaything for the gods, then you should keep her from using that unique skill. Thanks for the advice, pal. You're quite welcome. I shall take my leave now. <laughs> it's useless. To defeat one who has transcended nature, you must possess the means to defy the laws of nature itself. Mia! If you truly have no fear of death, then visit the Cradle. It would give me immense pleasure to see you push your wisdom and courage to their limits in an attempt to strike me down. Master! Are you hurt? No, I'm okay. The others need your help now. Go get Xena as quickly as you can. Mia's in trouble. I have to follow them and bring her back! My stamina is starting to drain a little bit at a time. Mia, where is she? Simply not possible! How did you manage to escape the abyss of my shadow prison? Against the daunting oppression of its endless nothingness, you should have been powerless. What a weirdo. I can never tell if he's shocked or impressed with me. <laughs> well, I keep a small amulet. So your magic doesn't work. Trials must be administered with fairness. There are no grounds for cheating. Only someone who has conquered the Cradle should have the ability to reach this room. Those are the rules. What are you, the Game Master? You insult me. My cradle is no game. It is a formidable test. Only a proper hero can conquer its power and reach this room. Only a hero with true substance can do battle with the Undead King. Is he trying to say I don't have the goods? <laughs> as long as I bear the gift of God's blessing, I can never perish from this world. <laughs> I gotta get Mia out of here fast. <laughs> nice try. But if you want to get to the end, you must first start at the beginning. <sighs> oh boy. This sucks.
You insult me. My cradle is no game. It is a formidable test. The cradle? He should have called it the big ass tree. I'm guessing Mia is somewhere inside. Wow. This place is right next to Count Seryu's territory. That's good news. After I get to the top and rescue Mia, getting home won't be a guessing game. <laughs> what is this? Looks like there's an explanation in Elvish. Caution. As this is an institute for Elvish martial training, the life support mechanisms will only work on other elves. There are no restrictions upon who may enter the training grounds, but do so at your own peril. The management here is not responsible for any injury or loss of property incurred during use. Weird. Mm. <sighs> Going in is a risky move, but Mia needs my help so I don't have a choice. Uh-oh. Looks like I got company. This place is no joke. There are 200 floors. They're arranged in groups of 10. Every 20 floors, a massive spiral staircase stretches upward. There are monsters stationed in front of each access point to the stairway. If I had to guess, I'd bet they get stronger the higher you get. Compared to the Devil's Labyrinth under Seryu City, this cradle feels a lot more like a traditional gaming experience. It's crazy. It's exactly what someone who's a fan of RPGs for home consoles would come up with. In that case, I should focus on the first ten floors to keep an eye out for monsters. There. Stop hiding and come out! Shut up, you dumb dumb! super annoyed because I don't have enough MP. Perfect. Uh, if I defeat her, she'll be forced to open to up a passageway to the upper floors and I'll get to the top faster. If a classic dungeon crawler fan designed this place, there's bound to be a portal set up or a shortcut gimmick around here somewhere. Sorry, I'm too tired to fight. I don't really see how that's my problem. <laughs> Listen here, you big jerk! Back off or I'll tell Toya on you! Huh? 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 Uh, ah, oh no. Uh, be mine forever, human! Huh? I'm flattered, but if you want to propose, you're gonna have to wait 14 to 15 years. I'm starving! I want some food! Hmm. Well, I do have a little jerky. Not human food! I want MP! Right now! Sorry, but I need the MP for myself. It only hurts for a little bit. You'll feel much better after. I swear! Smooches! That wasn't your fault, Sato. Think of it like a bee sting. I don't want that title. Can I give it back, maybe? As thanks, I'll open up the corridor for you. It's all yours. Huh? Traza Yuya's room. Alrighty then, here goes nothing. Uh, thank you? A laboratory? I'm guessing this Traza Yuya character created the cradle? Is that who the Dryad was talking about when she said Toya? We elves have such a slight attachment to life. When faced with life or death situations, strangely, we have little will to struggle. Because of that weakness, many of our young have died within the labyrinth. The cradle was created for one purpose, to instill in elvenkind a strong will to survive even in the face of grave danger. It seems that in a hundred years, no one has forgotten about my greatest failure. Soon my long life will come to an end at last. As such, I will seal this place away until the day my fellow elves find it useful. I have faith that elves will once, once again, again lead the many races, races of this world. Traza Yuya Bolinon. He's of the same lineage as Mia and the manager. That's why this place needs her. Well, too bad. Oh, Joy! Welcome back! Oh. Hey, I'm looking for a little help here. Is there a portal? Sure is. All you have to do is stand in the middle of that fairy ring. 
Where exactly do you want to go? <laughs> the top floor. I need to see the Cradle Master. That's not gonna happen, buddy. No way! Fine, just send me up as high as you can. Okay, that'd be floor 100, the Guardian Knight's chamber. Be careful, the Guardian on that floor is pretty tough. Thanks, I'll be fine. Here we go! Activate! The marker is floor 100, the Guardian Knight's chamber. Before we fight, I need a moment, please. Aren't homunculi supposed to be some sort of artificial intelligence made through the power of alchemy? If that face is any indication, I'm pretty sure these models were based on Mia. My congratulations on making it this far, Voyager. I guess she doesn't know I cheated. Thanks, but I'm just a merchant. A merchant? Brave Voyager, congratulations on making it this far. I heard you before. If you wish to continue onward, you must first defeat the mighty guardian who protects these chamber walls. All victors will be granted recompense from our most noble and gallant master. I feel like I'm watching an elementary school play. Now approach, Iron Golem. The battle commences. Show him no mercy. Number seven. Number six. Use body strengthening and split up. We'll flank him on both sides. Uh, E-M-E-T-H. Isn't that Hebrew? It's just like in the famous tale of the golem. He figured out the Guardian's weakness. This is why I suggested we not leave a conspicuous clue written on his helmet. Upon further reflection, that does seem like an obvious mistake. Number five, and number six. I'll handle things here. You two make a run for it while you still can. Oh, number seven. I swear your bravery on this day shall never be forgotten. I concur with number five. Only in lieu of the phrase make a run for it, I would say commence retreat. I guess the one with the side buns is the editor bot? <sighs> Fire! Strike now! <laughs> what am I supposed to do now? I can't just gut punch an AI lady and leave her all on her own. No, that's wrong. So wrong. There are all kinds of weapons and potions here. Pretty pricey stuff, too. I'll help myself. Master. <laughs> Master. Sorry I failed you. <sighs> Oh, wow. This looks like the room the Dryad was in. Hmm. Maybe this will help get her back to 100% again. Water! Ah! Now, hand over the MP! <laughs> you gave some to the other me that was down below. There's another you? Yes, they're all me. You humans are weird, the way you're all separate individuals. Plant and spirit folk like me, we're all connected. Though we lose contact when we're low on MP. Hey, would you be willing to help me get to the top? Yeah, sure. Just give me one second. Hmm. Hmm? It would
it seems the line connecting us has been severed. Sorry, right now you can only get up to the 180th floor. Oh, thanks. That's great. You got it, pal. Oh, gross. I think Bugs ate through the connection. The next staircase is ahead. Oh, that was intense. I never imagined you would make it this far in such a short period of time. Same here. I'll make you a deal, Skeletor. Hand over the girl and you live. No. You may have earned the right to fight me by making it here, but I'm afraid you lack the credentials to face me. If you truly wish to claim the title of hero, there is one more challenge you must overcome first. You will fight a dangerous enemy, an enemy you have no chance of defeating. Your reward will be this once lost ancient sword, Yalar Horn. Dangling a carrot for me, are ya? Indeed. If you were to hand over this coveted sword to any king, he would reward you with glory beyond your wildest imagination. I can't figure out what his angle is. It's time for you to meet your opponent's merchant warrior. Seven homunculi. I see two of the ones from before, numbers five and six. But where's number seven? She's not here. A true hero lives outside the boundaries of safety. He exists beyond the fine line between life and death. Thus, allow me to bestow you all with God's miraculous blessing. Kind of buff magic? Uh. Oh no. I do hope to see a suitable battle to the death. Mia. I do hope to see a suitable battle to the death. Mia! I don't get it. Why fight so hard for a master who treats you like pawns? You're wrong. We're not the pawns. You are. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> One more. She has to know she can't win. My master's wish. Please make it come true for him.
You must promise us this. Magnificent. Truly magnificent. Now you've earned the right to be here, Mr. Hero. <sighs> Mr. Sorcerer! Or wait, Undead King, whoever you are. You want to tell me about this wish? It would be my pleasure, young sir. I wish to find a hero who will do me the service of killing me. In my past life, I met my end at the hands of an unjust brutality. God, in his wisdom, saw fit to reincarnate me as an infant. I was born into a highly respectable family. I even found a companion. She was too good for me, but I loved her dearly. Life was good, but I was a fool. I naively believed my new life would meet an entirely different end from my last. But unfortunately, God had other plans in mind for me. A noble fell in love with my wife. He imprisoned me and had me executed on false pretenses. He didn't stop there. In the end, the heads of every member of my family were strewn about the castle grounds. <laughs> Among them, the corpse of my wife. Cast aside like a rag doll, like she was nothing. I turned my wife and the rest of my family into undead. Hungry for sweet vengeance, I bore my teeth and unleashed holy hell on the noble and his kinsmen. It was said they were a resilient family, but in the end, we prevailed. Having accomplished my revenge, I sought a means to end my life and rejoin my dearest wife in death. But God's blessing would not allow me to do so. I tried everything, even the power of undead and the holy sword. But nothing worked. After all, God made me the immortal king of night. He granted me a body that would never die, and a soul that would forever yearn for justice, and the might to fight all undue displays of power. Now, hero, I have told you my story. Before I fully descend into the darkness, use that sword to strike me down. My master has a wish. Please make it come true. You have my gratitude, friend. <laughs> My dearest love, my sweetest one, this time we'll be together forever. message. Oh. Please be advised. The cradle has begun its self-destruct sequence. For your own safety, all staff and trainees are advised to leave immediately. I repeat, system message. The cradle has begun its self-destruct sequence. For your own safety, all staff and trainees are advised Mia, to leave do you remember me? Don't worry, there's no reason to be afraid anymore. You're safe. System message. <sighs> The cradle has begun its hey, self-destruct sequence. Do you have any idea how to turn own that own off? All I'll try. All trainees are advised to leave immediately. I failed. Jeez, you gave up fast. Done. We're safe? Uh, yeah. Well, sort of. We're not in the clear just yet. It doesn't look like Zen ever intended to sacrifice Mia. He even has a clear method of escape built into the architecture of the program. But every other function seems to be blocked out. If I stick close to her, in theory, we should be able to warp out together. But wait, what will happen to the homunculi if I leave? Number seven is still on one of the bottom floors. I can't just abandon her.
Mia, listen to me. There's someone down below who needs my help. It's not safe. Don't worry, I'm not gonna die. I promise. A promise is a promise, Sato, so no matter what, you'd better come back here alive. I'll make it back, you have my word. I better move. I have a promise to keep. Turning into salt? There! Number seven! Green girl! You ready? I need you to transport us outside the tree. Stat! I think I can establish a connection and get you near the bottom, but I'm gonna need you to load me up with delicious seeds first. Just seeds? You don't care which kind? Nope! As long as it's plant seed, it'll do the trick! Here, is this enough? No, dum-dum, not even close. For this to work, I'll need three times what I got before. You won't have any MP left. Whatever, it's fine. Yay! Smooches! Ah! I'm synced and ready to roll. Well, let's go! Thanks a lot. It was my pleasure, and that MP really hit the spot. Well, Hero Man, you better bolt. Bolt? Oh. It's a tidal wave of salt! Quick, run! Oh no, I'm safe. As long as there are trees, I'm okay. Thank you. Good luck. I need to activate the transport skill I haven't even touched yet. It's much easier to run now. But I'm not running fast enough. Come on, Sato. Think fast. Water. A lake or a bog. Doesn't matter. It's likely the only chance I've got. I need to break the waves. But how? I know. A wall. The kettle's really mad at us. The kettle man is super scary. What does that have to do with anything? Come on, Sato, get your head in the game! If I had some kind of earth magic instead of this useless fire shot, then I could make a wall. But is it useless? Water gets 1,000 times bigger when it boils. No, it's not useless at all. Okay, here goes. Here we go! Why? You have no idea. We were really worried, Master. No scratches? Welcome back, sir. Thank you, son. 
If the reincarnated girl with whom you travel is truly precious to you, have her exercise caution and restraint in using the God-given power she wields. It is too much for any mortal to bear. Do not let her meet the same fate as I. Uh. I was so worried about you! Promise me you'll never do anything crazy like that again! Okay. Promise. Girls, please. I'm okay. Hey. Well, it's done. You kept your word. Yeah, of course. Sato, hear this. A descendant of the Bolinon family, I'm the youngest elf in the Bolinon forest. I come from a distinguished line of proud elves. On behalf of all of them, I wish to tell you this. You have our sincere gratitude. Sato, sir. Not only did you spare all of our lives even after we tried to take yours, but you ran back into harm's way in order to rescue number seven from certain death. We cannot thank you enough for this. Tell me, where is Master? Well, your Master passed on. <sighs> master Sato, you have our allegiance. As your new subjects, we will obey your every command. Uh, hang on a sec! Before we can fulfill our duty to serve you, there is a task that we must first complete. It's our Master Zen's wedding ring. Will you allow us to take it to his wife's resting place? Oh, take as much time as you need. Thank you, sir. But one of us must stay behind. Please, pick the number you'd like to keep. You should all go. That's totally cool with me. No, sir. We will never leave you alone. Cool. I'll let you make that call then. Fight! Rochambeau! Rochambeau! This is Ro super Shambo! weird. Papers! Master, I very much look forward to the pleasure of remaining by your side. Great, thanks. You're seven, right? Can I maybe give you a different name instead? Yes. Then welcome to the team, Nana. Yes, Master. <laughs> Yuya? Mia. I'll stay too. You can't. I can. But how? Asato. Makes sense. No one would be mad at you two for using longer sentences. I see. A mysterious necromancer with a vendetta against the Shiga Kingdom, huh? Yep. That's what the brave men who rescued me said. I'm a lucky guy. Well, that's a flat-out lie. <laughs> oh, you've come back! Are you alright, Sato? Yes, I'm fine. Sorry to make you worry. <laughs> when I heard you were taken, I was horrified. All I could do was think of ways to bring you home. But you're safe and sound. That's what matters now. Yeah. I'm just sorry the whole ordeal made you so upset. Oh yeah. Can't believe I almost forgot. I bought a little something just for you. Are these... Mm -hmm. What a romantic gift! Zena. Yes? What? Well, uh... The thing is... The elf girl who was kidnapped needs someone to take her home where she belongs, so I volunteered for the job. <gasps> You're going to the elf village? It's to the southeast of the Shiga Kingdom. Tell me the truth, Sato. Do you ever intend to return to Seriu City? Yes, of course I do. Thank goodness. And when I do get back, I'll have a million stories to tell you about my crazy journey, I can promise you that. Right. 
It's a promise, then. Well, Master, we are ready to depart when you are. Hooray! We can't wait! I'm here. Please accept my apology, Sato. I'm sorry I wasn't able to find you a proper house. It's cool. Hey, you helped me buy this cart, and that's no small thing. Watch over Mia. I will. I promise. Be careful out there. The roads are crawling with bandits and lots of shady rogues. Too late. Yeah, me too. I was hoping we'd get a proper goodbye. There's something I need to say to you. Sato, you're so great, and I wish that I could come with you, but I can't just abandon my family. I love them too. I want to join you, I do, but I just can't. That said, this spring my brother will officially become the head of our family. I've spoken to him, and as far as he's concerned, I'm free to do as I like. And so, I have good news. When spring comes, I'll be able to join you. Don't look so blue, Master. I know you'll miss Zena, but at least you've got us. Does your tummy hurt? Are you gonna throw up, Sato? I'll be all right. Uh Sir, I read in one of my old master's code libraries that crying into a woman's chest will make hey, her feel no better. Hey, no fair! Cut that out right now! Lulu, do something quick! No, Arisa. I'm driving the cart. I have to focus on the road. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, we'll be together, forever. Thank you for the spoon! Thank, Thank you for the spoon! Thank you for the spoon! Lisa, it's great. Also, Lulu and Nana, you worked hard too. It's our pleasure. Her tail's wagging. She's really happy. <laughs> uh, Mia, I didn't know you were a picky eater. No meat. It's yuck. Oh, right! I almost forgot elves don't eat meat. Don't worry, I still eat meat. Nothing's gonna change that ever. Who doesn't like meat? It's the best ever! It's alright, Mia. To each her own. <sighs> I think maybe I ate too much. Yeah, me too. Lisa, why are you still cooking food? I'm pretty sure everyone is stuffed. Oh, I thought we might want some provisions for the long journey ahead. Awesome. That's a smart move. You know, it's even smarter uh, storing it in here. What's that? An item box. It's awesome. It's like what you'd find in a video game. You oh. store whatever you want inside, and whenever you need it, you can pull it back out. Just don't overdo it, though. It'll use up all your mana. It uses MP? That's totally different from my storage. They're finished. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Lisa. No, thank you. I'll take it from here. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't really know what my storage can do. I should figure that out at some point. 
You know, this place isn't so bad. Well? Ladies, before we take off, make sure you've taken care of your assignments, all right? Yeah, Yogi! Hooray! This'll be fun! She's looking better. After what she's been through, that's really saying something. It's a long journey home, but I have a feeling she's gonna do just fine. And yet... Hey, I have an idea. Uh, what do you think about me touching up the straw seat cushions before we hit the road? The cushions? What's wrong? Are they defective or something like that? Uh, kind of. Basically, the stupid straws keep poking me right in my bottom. Gotcha. In that case, we should definitely fix them. All right, ladies, let's get the cloth off these straw bundles ASAP. Undo this string and it'll come right off. Okie dokies. Aye, aye. Mia, if you see any straws poking out from the unwrapped bundles, your job is to yank them out. <sighs> this should fix our problem. If we put the leather on the part we sit on, the straw won't poke through. Are you sure about this? Goat skin is pricey. I know, but I don't want everyone's butts to get all scratched up because I decided to be a cheapskate. That's a wise choice. If our butts get scratched, they won't be as soft. She <laughs> is the weirdest. <laughs> Whoa, he's so fast. How is it possible for a person to sew with such speed? You're the fastest of all time, Master. The fastest of the fast. <laughs> uh, what the hell? Mm. My bad. Meat? Look at the birdie bird, it's so round and plump. Mm, cute. Pardon me, master. May I please look after this larval creature? <laughs> you like it, huh? Yes. It's furry and round. And it's quite cute, too. In that case, it's all yours, Nana. Mm. Don't be upset, I'll make one for you too. Sound good? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky, it's a tiny Toma! Yes, and here's a petite Pochi too! Bunny. Uh, uh, if I don't make one of these for everyone, there's gonna be serious hell to pay. Master, should we begin making preparations to depart? Yeah, sounds good. Maybe it's best to let the horses rest a while longer. <laughs> Plus, Pochi and Tama are having the time of their lives. Huh, maybe she's tired because she's not used to long trips? Let's hang out here a little bit longer, okay? Of course, Master. What is that? Huh. All right, troops, listen up! These are your new marching orders. Conduct a full and thorough search around that stone outcropping over there. Okay! Okie dokie! Yay! Yay! Well, that looks like fun. I think I'd like to join them. <laughs> I'll call you when it's time to leave, girls. So don't wander off too far. You're awesome, Mia. Huh? Really? Yeah. <laughs> Princess Mia, please instruct me on how to make such beautiful music with a simple leaf. Not a princess. Yes, you are. Nana, Mia doesn't like being called princess. You mind not calling her that? Please forgive me, Master. I have officially confirmed her name change in my system's database. That was easy. Sato? I 
I feel so judged right now. I know. Behold the skill of someone with level 10 musicianship. Ugh. That sounds like the noise a dying mouse makes when it gets its head snapped in a mouse trap. No more. Oh, don't worry, Master. If you keep practicing your instrument, you'll get better one of these days. If you try hard, you can do anything. Uh, thank you. Stop goofing off and come with me right now. Look there. Uh, oh, what? <gasps> Whoa, Stone Tori? At first glance, I couldn't make it out. But from what I can see, it seems like three Tori in a row fell over. There must have been a shrine here. It's weird, but I feel like I've seen this place before. But how? Ichiro. Never forget this. We will be together until the end of time. You will always be Ichiro, no matter the world or era in which you find yourself. So is reincarnation real? It is. But reincarnation isn't enough. I remember. That shrine in the background is the one that was near my grandpa's place. But who's the girl with the weird hair? Is she my friend from when I was little? The lifespan of a human is different than that of a god. In order for us to stay together, we need divine intervention. The Kagura, a dance dedicated to a god who fell in love with a human being. Master! Ichiro. Master! You can. Master! Snap out of it, will ya? Uh, what's wrong? <sighs> a cliff isn't exactly the perfect location for a daydream, you dumb dumb. What just happened? I wasn't the victim of a psychological attack. And the tori at the shrine near my grandpa's place were red. Plus, none of my friends looked anything like that girl. Wait a sec. When I was a student, I made a doujin game with a shrine almost exactly like that. I don't remember having that conversation in real life. It must be a part of the game I made. What's your deal? You're spacing out again! Uh, I'm sorry. I was just thinking about the shrine where I used to play when I was a kid. Huh. Uh. Whoa, this looks like a broken travel gate. Wait, a travel gate? You mean like the warp feature that shows up in some video games? Can you fix it? Probably not. Quick, let's go find Pochi and Tama. It's time to ship out. Lucky, Master, I found us some prey! Master, <laughs> since we were able to procure some meat, I have one small request before we continue the journey ahead. May I butcher that? Sure, why not? Lisa, if you're <sighs> willing, I'd be very interested to learn your skill. Come. I will teach you the art of butchering. You can take it apart, Lulu. Fun. Oh no, her hair's filled with sand. Hey, Mia. Do you know of a water magic spell that's kind of like the everyday magic soft wash? No. I see. Look here! I brought us some meat! Awesome, Tama! Great job! Oh, now that's adorable. A baby monster. Oh, can I hold it, please? Yeah, sure! It may be cute, but it's a baby monster, so be careful, all right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow! uh, the prey ran away from me. No, Tama, it's my fault. I'm sorry, it squirmed right out of my arms. No. I'm sorry, I messed up, Master. I tried, but I couldn't catch the prey. <laughs> it's fine. You're safe, that's what matters now. Besides, there's always next time, right? Right! Next time I'm gonna catch the biggest, baddest beast in the whole world! All this excitement has made me hungry for a snack. I've got a great idea. We should eat the pancakes from before. This thing's pretty convenient, but it doesn't exactly keep your food warm. Sorry, girls, they probably don't taste very good cold. Tastes pretty darn good to me! Yeah, it's yummy! <laughs> now, let's see what we have here. Oh, a spellbook on shadow magic? What the? Oh, right! 
Zen's mementos are now in my inventory. This could be good. Maybe I can learn more about magic. All right, I finished my lesson on shadow magic. Wow. It's really amazing how compatible the magic in this world is with programming language. It's almost as if the person who created the magic in this place is a programmer. Now to the task at hand. I want to get a handle on this whole water magic washing spell thing so Poach can get cleaned up. I'll look into everyday magic next. Everyday magic is a huge pain in the ass. Can't seem to wrap my head around it. My water magic idea is a no-go. But wait, just like Mia tried to copy Aris's humming by ear, if I consider the techniques needed for everyday magic, then copy and paste the existing parts of water magic into the formula, I should be able to make a new spell. I love getting my hands on this kind of research. I could do it for hours. Uh, wait a second. Huh? That was totally not my fault. Sato, it's uncouth to be a perv. That was naughty. Everyone knows you're not allowed to squeeze a woman's bits till after you're wed. It's true. To squeeze, get on your knees. You had me worried for a second because your eyes were wide open, but you weren't responding at all. I don't want to freak them out. I need to make sure my eyes are closed when I'm looking at the menu. Relax, I'm fine. I was just concentrating on learning a new spell, that's all. Learning a new spell? researcher of magic spells. I'm not. I just built one and was tinkering with it, is all. If it's all right, Mia, I'd like you to help me with it later. Okay. Huh? Whoa, these pop-ups. Ratman? Thank you for all your help, Sato. So, what's up next for you? A good question. I must go find my friends. Sadly, we were all separated while trying to save the princess. Lisa, stop the carriage! <laughs> Jose, Jose, Mia's protectors? They acted as decoys so she could safely escape the cradle. <sighs> Girls, I think we should make camp here tonight. Sato. Uh, what's up? You all right? You too. Talk. Okay. My brave sir, thank you so much for saving us. That said, we have something important which requires our attention. We must leave at once. Oh, of course. Go on ahead. We'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Mm. Yeah! That was expertly done, Tama. Thanks! Well, shall I cook the meat then, Master? That sounds great. Let me know if you need help, okay? I must say, Tama, I'm quite impressed with you. You are truly a genius hunter, Tama. <laughs> Not bad, kiddo. Uh... Check me out, Tama! Do you like my crazy awesome meat dance? You know I do, Pochi! Uh... Hey, Mia, you want to help me with that spell I told you about before? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bad time. Look at us! We're so clean! We sparkle! Great success. Thanks a lot, Mia. <laughs> this sucks. I'm bored out of my mind. I can make another new spell. No, I'm supposed to be on the night watch. Wait! How about I try my little storage experiment? I can store things from far away. Cool. Not that far. Oh well. At least now I know. The threshold for this is about three meters. Ah, I can separate each component of blended things. In that case, I can make salt water drinkable. That'll come in handy, especially near the ocean. Oh man, it doesn't work with salt water. 
too bad. Wait, I bet I can dissect those insect corpses I got back at the cradle. If I can swing that, these won't have to take apart the prey Pochi and Tama bring back to the camp for us. No dice. Man, this isn't going very well. But... I didn't lose any MP. I guess mine is different from Arisa's item box. I should check out hers too. <sighs> yeah, it's official. Her storage is definitely weak sauce compared to my apparatus. It's useless. Wait, hold on. flame went out. Apparently, the stuff in the item box changes over time. On the other hand, my storage is different. The status of the items in my storage apparatus doesn't change at all. Who knows? Maybe time stops in there. Or maybe it's like a game and it's just a bunch of data stored inside. I think I have a brilliant idea. I didn't know you were planning to reheat the stew from yesterday, Master. Thank you, that was incredibly thoughtful. Ah, it was nothing. So, what do you think? How does it taste? Hmm. Not bad. Uh, sparkly sparks. <laughs> We've got company. Wow. This is a grave for all the ratmen who died protecting Mia. Mr. Sato, I thank you for rescuing all my friends. I am in your debt. My pleasure. My friends, thank you. I, Misenaria of the Bolinan Forest, ask you, most sacred and ancient trees, please let the brave ratmen who perish valiantly rest in peace from this day until the end of time. I wish to bestow you with this bell. It was handcrafted by the elves. As you have garnered the trust of Princess Misanaria, I shall trust you in return. Here you are. I'm sorry about the wait. I hope you enjoy your dinner, sir. Thank you. Here, you can keep the change, miss. <laughs> Thanks. Hey! This isn't salty enough! Oh, shut up! For what you're paying, you're lucky it has salt at all! You cheap old miser. I hope you get stewed alive in a witch's cauldron and eaten for breakfast. How about I eat you, jerk? Everybody, take a deep breath. Day. Relax. The next round is on me. Yeah! <sighs> All done. Time to hit the road. <laughs> Wait a second. Is this tavern a brothel too? We ah! You have more mm -hmm. girls than you know what to do with! Yet you still go to a brothel! There are so many painfully obvious reasons why I'm choosing not to dignify that with a comment. Move it! <laughs> Watch where you're walking, peasant. You're in my way. Uh, forgive me, sir. Huh? 
Why is Mustache giving me the evil eye? <laughs> Be careful. That man. He's mean. Oh, yeah? You know him. He tried to take our flying ant cores back in Seriu City. Right. That small-time crook. Here, take this. You'll feel much better. Please. Huh? A magic potion? We've nothing to pay you with. No need. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're very kind. Mm. Awesome. It works on <laughs> fractures, too. Wow. Bless you. I am in your debt, sir. Aren't you the big hero? I couldn't just leave him like that. Right. That's really sweet and all. Just make sure you save some for when we need it. Good point. Yeah. Mm. Well, next up on the agenda, master alchemy and learn to make potions. Is it me? No, it's a rabbit. Now you're it doing alchemy? Me. Just how multi-talented are you? First, I'll follow the directions. Uh, the name of the creator pops up. Good to know. Next time I make an item, I'll make sure to leave the name section blank. I need to learn transmutation at some point. I guess there's no time like the present, right? Here goes. Tablet, go! First, I pour in the medicine I made earlier. Then, I gradually add some elixir. And finally, MP. Once this light fades away, it'll be done. Now. If I just raise my skill to max and transmute it... You're super smart, Arisa! You're so smart! Oh, please, and just like that, I have a high-quality HP recovery potion. What's this? It says here I need to store it in a specialized vial. If I don't, the potion will degrade over time. Wow, look. These vials have magic circles drawn on them with special ink. Ugh. It's probably past time for a supply run. There's a town called Noki in Kuhano County. I should go there tomorrow. Huh? Oh, wow! So cool. Look at that! I guess that's good for now. I think I might try making a magic item later tonight. making something cool. Magic item number one. Here, try it out. <gasps> okay. Let me guess. When you use it, you're supposed to get magic to flow from your right hand to your left, yeah? Thank you for the explanation. Okay, here goes. Huh? What's supposed to happen? Channel your MP. It'll flow right into the magic circuit. Yeah, yeah. And then? And nothing. What? It just goes around and around till your MP is drained. Ugh, so anticlimactic. Fine, I'll give it a try then. Here goes nothing. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, the wagon, uh, don't worry, it's me. Sorry to freak you out. Uh. I've never seen this before. There are big blank spots all over this map. I don't want to put everyone in danger, so I should probably spend some time studying it. Better safe than sorry. Oh, an alchemy shop? Yeah. Just head straight that way till you get to the edge of town. Uh, watch it! Sorry, I didn't see you there. Be more careful next time, kid. Out of my way! Time to go to the next shop. Let's get a move on. You stupid worthless slave. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, you're slow uh, as molasses. Uh, hmm. Come on, let's go. Oh, right. Afternoon, sir. Hi there. I'm looking for some elixir for a potion. Do you have any? Hmm. If they're for stamina recovery, I have three I can sell you. They're one silver coin each. There's a bit of a core shortage, though, so I can't give you a discount. 
Core. So that's what it's made from? If Core's what I need, I have plenty left over from the labyrinth in the cradle. Awesome! Do you happen to have any stabilizers? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. Also, if you have any scrolls, I'll take them. I need cores higher than grade 3. Trade me and it's a done deal. Wait, isn't it illegal to buy or sell cores? I'll just take the potion vials. <laughs> Sorry, I would, but someone bought up my stock before you got here. I tried to tell them no, but they had a requisition warrant with the seal of the vice where I've seen them city, so I didn't have a choice. That guy from before. Are you in dire need? I'd check out the pottery workshop. They usually have a decent variety. Lisa, go on back with the others. I'll be there soon. Is something wrong? I need to make a quick stop. I should come with you. No, it's cool. Get dinner ready. I'll be with you in no time. As you wish. <sighs> These are some nice cores you've got here. Go on, take anyone you'd like, sir. That all you got? I have more, but I'm not too keen on selling potentially lethal scrolls to virtual strangers. But how about this? It's called Blow, a magic scroll typically used to help stranded ships get back to shore. Who knows what's waiting for us in those blank map areas? Hmm. Shield! Sonar! Signal! Blow! Hey, not bad. I feel like a total creeper. Uh-oh. Not good. Why do I get the feeling something is telling me to stay the hell out? The Forest of Illusions. It doesn't exactly live up to its name. This place is disappointing. I guess the forest witch knows I penetrated the barrier. I should make myself scarce. Yikes! Yikes! Pay me no attention, I'm just a lowly merchant passing through! I'll go now! Sound good? <laughs> Calm down. It's okay. Seriously, I have no interest in hurting you. Do you want payback? You can totally hit me. I won't resist. Uh yeah. hmm. Hmm. Huh? It is a true pleasure to meet you, sir. Welcome to the Forest of Illusions. I am the witch in charge of guarding the mana source in these woods. Mm. Forgive my apprentice. Purity of heart and naivete go hand in hand. It was foolish of Ine to attack an emissary of Bolinon. My apologies. Emissary of Bolinon? Oh, right. She must think that because of the bell I got from Mize. Actually, ma'am, I'm just a merchant. I do have an elf from the Bolinon clan under my care, but believe me, I'm no emissary. Uh... In any mana, knock before you barge into a room. Dear sir, forgive me for earlier. <sighs> it's my fault for stumbling into your forest like a moron. Please, stand up. There's no need to apologize. Thank you for your patience with my young apprentice, sir. It's all right. <laughs> Ine, how are the potions coming along? Don't worry, mistress. All is well. At this rate, I've no doubt we'll keep our end of the deal. Uh, what deal? Ine is referring to a pact we made with Count Kuhano. The arrangement is simple. 
In return for keeping outlaws, hunters, and other vagabonds out of our sacred forest, we deliver him 300 vials of a special potion twice a year. Oh, I see. Tell me, son, do you have any interest in potions? Yes, but I just now started learning. In that case, would you like me to teach you a very special recipe? Are you for real? Yes. But may I ask for one small favor in return? Of course. I'm glad to help. Thank you for everything. Are you sure you don't need us to guide you back home, young man? Yeah, I'm fine. All the same, here is a small gift. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I guess I'll be on my way now. <laughs> she did one for me, now I need to do one for her. Should be fun. Apparently the person I promised the witch I deliver this letter to is a giant of the forest. Here goes. Forest of Illusions. I thought this place didn't live up to its name. I was wrong. Where in the heck have you been all night, you pervert? Were you in a brothel again? Brody. Well, any word? <laughs> Nothing yet. Oh, yeah? Well, they're running out of time, that's for sure. Sundown will be here in the blink of an eye. Either way, it won't matter. That's one delivery that's never going to reach its destination, trust me. Hey, Moneybags, aren't you the guy that wanted to put in an order? Yes, I am. Thank you for seeing me, sir. You own this place, right? So do we have a deal? Can you make me the vials or not? I'm afraid it's a little more complicated than that, kid. There's a ton of regulation here inside the city. But there is a way. For example, you're more than welcome to learn pottery at my workshop. Wait, is that code? Uh... A nail, please! Yes, sir! When you officially become the new Viceroy in town, the very least you can do is make my claim your worker bees. You're right. Loyalty should always be rewarded. But I won't be Viceroy. In fact, I'm going to be named Lord of my own territory. He's just some failed noble talking a bunch of nonsense. To be sure, building a new town is no small feat. But will I ever give up? No. Look who's here! to take you back home right now. Pardon the interruption, Master, but it is well past your bedtime. <laughs> Thank you for looking after our Master, sir. We hope to see you soon. Yeah, so do How I. in the heck did you find me? Secret. Uh. Hmm. All right, time to make pottery. <clears throat> Whoa. It's Ine. Is there something wrong? Yeah. Looks like someone I know is being chased by bad guys. Huh? Well, let's do something then! Come on! Right! Up and away we go! Hang on, Lulu! Uh, oh, Tama, put me down! Uh, uh. They're gonna catch me! Lisa! Pochi! Uh. Tama! Don't let the bad guys near the carriage! Of course, uh. Master! Uh. Are you okay? Yes, Sato. We're here to help you. Uh, so that's what they're after, huh? Yeah, they want these for the pact. Go on, uh, we can handle things here, Ine. Right. Mm. Ah! <laughs> the potions! Don't let them get away, girls. Go after them. Understood. All right. For now, we need to take an inventory. So out of the 300 vials of potion you started with, only 120 are left. Jeez, that means 180 were lost in the crash. The vial on this one broke, but there's still some left inside. If I put these in storage... Okay, that's enough for about 40 vials. 
Come on, let's go. We should deliver them what we have. I'm sure they'll understand. Hmm. That is too bad. But a pact is a pact after all. Deliver all 300 vials of potion by sundown or we no longer have a deal. But, but sir... Hold on. I've heard his voice before. Wait. <laughs> it's creepy mustache guy. It's useless. I can't get any info. For now. Please, sir, let us explain. Shut your mouth, peasant girl. If we want to hear you speak, we will say so. Oh, yeah? Uh... If you stoop to a bully's level or let them get under your skin, then you've already lost. Now. <laughs> Is there something else you need? Sadly, we lost about 180 vials of potion due to the incident earlier. You would like us to somehow replace the missing vials and deliver them to you by today. Did I get any part of that wrong? I just need to convince him to give us permission to buy the rest of the potions from the market. Yes, in fact you did. <laughs> First of all, this pact is between Count Kuhano and the Witch of the Forest of Illusions. It is not your concern. Secondly, the only potions we will accept are ones made by the Witch. Wait just a second. The Witch said the word special potion. She didn't say anything about her being the one required by the pact to make it. Besides, the witch wasn't doing the work. Ine was the one making the potions when I was there. I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like maybe this guy wants the delivery to fail so the pact will fall apart. Mm. Not maybe, definitely. <sighs> I remember him now. These are the two shady guys I saw chatting at the tavern. But I won't be Viceroy. In fact, I'm going to be named Lord of my own territory. <laughs> so what is their plan exactly? To break the pact and get rid of the Forest of Illusions so they can build a new town right on top of it? <laughs> Whoever these guys are, they're up to no good. I could be wrong, but I don't think that's part of the pact. Unless the details of the arrangement have totally changed, friend. Tell me, why should I discuss the details of my business with a mere commoner like you? Because I was a guest of the witch recently, and I know you're not telling the truth. <laughs> Very well, then. I'll keep our deal and take deliveries, provided they're the same quality as the witch's brew. Mm. One more thing. What if I bring you potions that are of a much higher quality? Will you honor the deal then? <laughs> if you think you can collect them all, then be my guest. I need your assurances. In writing, please. What? How dare you! Mind your tongue, you rogue! You'll have to forgive me, sir. I'm a merchant, which means I trust no one. You... <laughs> hmm. Who does he think he is, calling me a peasant? <laughs> Time to go. We only have three bells left until sundown. There's no way this plan will work out. Don't you worry. My master is a cheating fraud, but he always comes to the rescue in the end. Santo. Mm -hmm. Master, we've returned. Right. Thanks. We brought you the plants. Lots and lots of plants. Huh? huh? You don't get it. Even with all the ingredients in the world, it's still impossible. And why is that? Even if we do manage to make the potions, it won't matter if we don't have the vials to store them in. We'll never make the delivery in time! <sighs> Sorry. I would, but someone bought up my stock before you got here. He fell for it! If the fool really thinks all he has to do is make more potion, he's in for a rude awakening! We've been had. What do you mean? Very well, then. I'll keep our deal and take deliveries, provided they're the same quality as the witch's brew. Even if we manage to make the potions, it won't matter if we- Yeah.
We don't have the vials to store them in. We'll never make the delivery in time. We've been had. I do wish I could help you, kid, but 180 new vials? There's just not enough time. We don't want to drag you into this, sir. If we could just use your kiln, we'd be grateful. Are you in danger, kid? Mm. All right. I'm not the type to turn away a stranger in need. I'll help you as best I can. Uh. Oh, thank you, sir. Well, don't just stand there, people. Let's get to work. Right. Lisa, Tama, Pochi, Lulu, and Nana, I want you to help me make the vials. What do you say? As you wish. This is quite frustrating. Yes, centrifugal force can be extremely hard to calculate. That's pretty impressive. Are you sure you never made these before, kid? You're the best! No one knows how to make vials like you! Yes. Oh. There's one problem, though. These vials are wet. It takes five days for clay like this to dry. Huh? But we don't have five days. I know. Listen, I wish I could tell you there was a shortcut or some way around it, but unfortunately there just isn't. I'm sorry, kids, but this is a problem I can't help you solve. Okay, the issue is the moisture in the clay. There's gotta be some way to dry it, right? Wait. Mm. That's it. Clay wind dry. I didn't know that was possible. You may be small, young lady, but you're mighty. <sighs> We're in business, people. Keep on working. I'll get the vials put in the kiln right away. Right. Right. I'm just about finished up over here. We need to let the vials cool down a little bit longer, but they should be ready before sundown. I'm so glad we did it. Oh, bless you. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, wow, that wasn't a hat at all. Master, might I look after this odd creature? Um, I don't think that's a good idea. Uh. Which is familiar? What in the hell do you think you're doing here? Hmm? I certainly hope you're not making vials without permission, because that would be against the law. I could arrest you. I knew it. Glad I kept a marker on this D-bag. You've got the wrong idea. I'm just teaching these folks pottery. Nothing's for sale. What do you think I am, an idiot? Sorry, but I'm afraid we're going to have to get rid of this kiln. No, don't! Please! He's innocent! Innocent, huh? Oh, I doubt that very much. Now it's time to pay the price. Go! It's so 
over. They destroyed all of them. By the way, we're looking forward to the delivery of those 300 vials of potion. Good luck making that deadline! <laughs> Kid, I failed you. Please forgive me. No, please forgive me. Your poor kiln. If it's all right, I'd like a moment with my friends. Yes, of course. Listen, Inanimana, I have an idea. Can we use your furry friend to talk to the witch? I was worried something like this might happen, so I put out a bunch of decoys. Hmm? If that's true, then where are all the ones you made? Oh, they're safe. I hid them so well, those jerks will never find them. Huh? I can't explain in detail right now, but trust me, I have something way better than your item box. Hmm. What, do you think I'm just gonna nod my head and take your word for it? Take them out and prove it! All right. <gasps> Did it break in there? Oh, I see. The sudden change in temperature must have made it shatter into pieces. The vials won't do us any good if we can't take them out. If there was a way to gradually change the temperature, I could salvage the rest. The only option right now is to wait for the kiln to be fixed before taking them out. <clears throat> no, we're already cutting it way too close. This idea is useless. Useless. Yeah, it's official. Her storage is definitely weak sauce compared to my apparatus. It's useless. The flame went out. Apparently the stuff in the item box changes over time. That's it. Jackpot! Arisa, would you mind taking a step back, please? Huh? will work. <sighs> now, if I can just combine it with the blow spell. <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> Girls, get ready, because we're about to show that despicable small-time crookedest lackey who's boss! <gasps> Not to be too literal, but technically, I'm the boss. Well, 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 look who it is. If excuses are all you have, then save your breath. I know you don't have the 300 vials. The deal is off. I beg your pardon, good sir. This is a delivery receipt. We'll need your signature and stamp. Are you saying you have the shipment? It's impossible! They have delivered the 300 vials of potion, sir. And we've also confirmed the legitimacy of this document. As far as I can tell, there are no issues. <laughs> Kid! What kind of trick did you use? What makes you think that we tricked you? We just worked hard and figured it out, and we did it together. <laughs> we made good. Now you do your part. Sign and seal the document. Sir, what's wrong? He can't refuse to sign it now, can he? It's nearly sundown, Sato. Make him sign. Mm -hmm. With respect, I need you to sign the document immediately. Allow me to sign it for you, my friend. <laughs> Count Kuhano, sir! What are you doing here? I thought you were clever. 
Yet you can't figure out the witch told me of your evil deeds? Ma'am, you're here too! Thank you, Sato! Bless you! <laughs> I knew your father. He was a widely respected man. We first met at the Royal Academy years ago. I gave you this position on account of the respect I held for him. For his sake, I honored you. And you thank me by spitting it back in my face? You, sir, do not deserve to be the Assistant Viceroy. As punishment, you are hereby banished from the kingdom. May the gods have mercy upon you. If you want me out of this office, you'll have to force me out! Careful, sir! Fear not. Spirit of Sadum City, attack this enemy of our people! Punish him! You fool. As the Count of Kuhano, I could never be harmed by such a spell within my own territory. Yes. The time for mercy is over. But death is mercy. Draw your sword and defend yourself! Why did you interfere, son? There are children present. Hmm. It appears the witch has a most noble friend in you. <laughs> Sorry for the trouble we caused. Are you kidding me? I got a new kiln and the Count promised me priority on all deals moving forwards. Great! Thanks to you, I'm gonna be filthy rich for the rest of my life! <laughs> Mr. Sato, from the bottom of my heart, you have my sincerest thanks for your aid in this matter. Here you go. A thank you gift. A lantern? It's a magic item that Mistress and I made. Hope you like it. Oh, wow. This is great. Thanks. I'll take good care of it. Hmm? There's one final gift I want to give you before we say goodbye. Bye, everyone. I hope to see you soon. I wish you and yours tidings of peace and joy, Mr. Sato. Well, it's time to go. Okay. Right. Your wish is our command. We're ready, Master. Okie dokie! Off we go! I'm ready for an adventure! Master, wake up, please. Open your eyes. <sighs> my foundation system or I'll shut down. <gasps> so you two weren't doing something uncouth? Oh, of course we weren't. <laughs> You're telling fibs. No, I swear. Wait a second, you do have the magic manipulation skill, right? My foundation instruments are down. As such, I'm unable to use that skill at this time. Which is why she needs my help. Don't worry, Nana, everything will be A-OK. -okay. I got you. Place your hand near my heart like this and allow the magic to flow into me. I will let you know if any adjustments are required. <coughs> her back. <gasps> Use her back. Right! Yes! If you only need to touch her near the heart, then her back should work as well as her chest! Way to save the day, Mia! Mm -hmm. Least I could do. Mia's assessment is quite correct. There will be no real effect on the adjustment if it is performed through my back. <laughs> Master, please, be gentle. 
It stings. Oh, my bad. Uh, uh, that's awkward. <laughs> All I know is this. I definitely get to go next. Master, you said to wake you. Uh, I'm awake. So, Master, what do you have planned for today? <gasps> Well, Master, any idea where we're headed next? A dangerous land called the Muno Barony. How many places have I been since I first left Seryu City? <laughs> Can you believe that? Lilio! Huh? Dina, welcome back! Why are you in such a hurry? <sighs> Look at this! Sato wrote a love letter just for me! Oh, wow. So what does the letter say? Huh? Hmm. It says, As the lingering winter leaves us at last, I sincerely hope the spring finds you happy and healthy. It's been a while since I first left Seriu City behind. I miss all the lovely people there. Most of all, I miss seeing you. <laughs> oh, please. That doesn't sound like a love letter to me. Huh? Hmm. We are currently making our way through Kuhano, Kuhano County, County. Which is just west of Seryu City. To be honest, this journey has turned out to be a lot harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> hey, over Thirsty, here. have some tea. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Master, look. When we were foraging in the woods, we acquired some herbs. What kind of herb is that? Uh, I don't know, but Pochi insisted we bring it back to you. It smells so sweet and yummy. Let me eat it, Master, please. Eat it. Take a bite. Let's break it open first. Uh huh? Mm -hmm. oh, it's filling. <gasps> Don't let it go to waste, Master. Uh, not bad. It's grassy, but it's sweet like sugar cane. Uh. Well, go on, girls. Help yourselves. Uh. Aye, aye, donkey. Uh. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean for them to lick my fingers. Master, here, take this. Use it to wipe off your hand. Right. Thank you, Arisa. No, allow me, please. Stop it. <gasps> Why would you lick me, too? Huh? Because they got to do it, and I want to taste the wild herb, too. What's so wrong with that? If you want to taste it, then go find yourself a plate. Fine. The road isn't for the faint of heart. It's exhausting. At the end of the day, we're so tired, we don't even mind sleeping outside. Pardon me, Master. Would you mind reading us a bedtime story? Sure. Why not? Here, read this! I'll do my best. Here goes. Just don't fall asleep on me. Once upon a time, there were seven deities who lived in the heavens. One day, they descended from their home in the sky with the world tree and came to this place. Master, hold on. I don't get it. What seven deities? It's just a way of saying seven gods. Seven divine beings. Well, what's a divine being? <laughs> Keep listening. But there were two other gods. The eighth god was a dragon god. He actually existed long before the other seven, but the dragon god indulged in long bouts of deep sleep, and as he slumbered, the world changed around him. The ninth god was a demon god, a fearful creature that traveled here from another world. The demon god was very selfish, concerned only with his wants, needs, and desires. As a result, he could not get along with the other gods and fought with them on a regular basis. His selfishness made it such that peace seemed nothing more than a fool's dream. Demons tormented the other races of the world. They seemed to take particular pleasure in bedeviling humankind. The humans called out to their heroine, the young goddess, asking her for the power to fight back. The young goddess heard their prayers and went to the other gods for help, but they would not listen. Left with no recourse, she took the matter to the strongest of all the deities, the dragon god. At first, the dragon god was hesitant, so she coaxed him with humanity's vices, alcohol, and indulgence. Pleased, the dragon god taught her one powerful bit of magic. A divine spell to summon heroes. A spell to restore hope. Uh. Uh. 
<laughs> I don't know how this journey will end. I just know I'm going to enjoy the adventure. And when I return, more than anything else, I look forward to seeing you again. So do I, Sato. So much. <laughs>